Hey everyone, my name is Danilo Petrovic. I'm Ilya Marchenko. I'm Dennis Kuda. I'm Evgeny Donsko. I'm Henry Laksan. I'm Peter Turepko and, and you're listening to the Game to Love podcast. Welcome back, tennis fans. Here we go. It's the women's kicking it off today. We have Garbinia Muguruza. She is up against Victoria Azarenka, last year's finalist. This should be a barn burner of a match. Oh, get the mic a bit closer to me. That's a bit better. They've just kicked off. It is Azarenka to serve. Let's go straight into it. Be good to get some score predictions from people on this one. Uh, I reckon it's going to be a bit split, if I'm honest. I don't think we're going to have everybody jumping on one or the other here. We got Magdi in. How are you? Uh, how am I feeling? Yeah, I'm feeling good. It's Friday. Got that Friday feeling. Get the uh, early beer out. Nice one, and can enjoy a weekend of tennis. Oh, get stuck in early doors. We've got some other big matches coming up today. We obviously got City Pass versus Alcaraz. That's coming up after this match. Uh, excited for that one as well. Obviously, we've just been doing a podcast with John Silk uh, talking about City Pass and uh, all of the antics that have been going on. So, 15.30 here at the moment. God, this light's a bit bright. Bear with me. Guys, I'm full. I think uh, a wire must have knocked onto the uh, onto the little dial thing that turns it up. That's better. Don't feel like I'm being blinded now. Uh, I could barely see the barely see the tennis. Right, got Ratchet in. How you doing? Good to have you in, Ratchet. Uh, we got Arena in saying I'm for Vicar, but I think Muguruza will win. Supermodel going with I think Muguruza will win as well. Let's get some score predictions in. Come on, get in early. Muguruza, before she uh, gets the break, let's do this. Let's do this. Appreciate those kind words. Sorry, I can't pronounce your name. Thank you. <laughs> we got Magdi in saying two set match, maybe a 6 4 7 5 into the net. Here and we've got the oh, we've got the half shadow on the court again. God, not again. So uh, means down the bottom of the court they're going to be in the shade at the moment. It's Vicar in the shade. More tea, Vicar. It's long from Mugalutsa there though. Right. Uh, I think. Well, maybe I should just go based upon my bracket uh, on this one. The winner of this one will face the winner of Krychikova and Arakimova. So let me just go through and tell you who I have in my bracket just so I think I should stick to what I've picked rather than just go in a off piste, let's call it. On my one, I think I have Azarenka. Yeah, I do. I had this match up in my bracket. I've got Azarenka going through to face Klaichikova in the next round and Azarenka's just saved two break points. And she's back to juice, which is great to see. Look at this. Vicar doing well from the off. That's what we like to see. I think JG is going to be joining us very shortly as well. We're looking forward to seeing him, seeing his little face. Right. Oh, miss it there from Garbinia. And that is our first shank of the match. It's a bit of a dodgy one, that one. Right, some other. I got Supermodel coming in with the Mugalutsa wins. 6 3, 4 6, 6 1. Interesting. I, you know, uh, thinking that she's going to steamroll her in the final set. Azarenka thinks Ratchet in three with a very long one a 7 6, 5 7, 7 6. A three-hour, 40-minute humdinger. Uh, well, it's going to be a long, old Friday night then for, for us, if that's the case. We've got a Bahamut going in with a Vicar 6-4, 3-6, I like it. I'm, I think it could go three as well. I'm not going to lie. I think Azarenka. I'm going Azarenka in three. I'm going to say she's the last year's finalist. I'm going to go with her on the hard courts. I like it. I like it. 
Right. Right, here we go. Vicar holds her serve. She saved two break points in that first game. She faced adversity already. And we've got Mugulutsa wearing, I don't know if you'd call what sort of print you'd call this. So I can know one of these Adidas tops. It's uh, not leopard print, but it's got some sort of, uh, it's, it's like that that sort of uh, way inclined. It's uh, a little bit like animalistic, I'd call it. Right, first serve. That, that way inclined. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's a little the bit animal like, print. It's a like I was going to say, like crocodile. But it's like it's either reptile or it's a uh, animal fur style. But yeah, I go more reptile with the colours. Anyway, good evening. How you doing? Yeah, I'm all right. Is your mic all right? It sounds like it's not uh, on proper, properly. Sorry, I should say that right. Just shortening my word. There you go. That's a lot better. Yeah, that's better. I can hear you now. It didn't sound like you're in a, I don't know, coal mine or something. No, I was just having a little look at that, but the head to head between these two. They've played each other so many times. It's a big one for our bracket as well. Um, obviously, you've got Azarenka, I've got Muguruza. A yes. lot of points at stake. I think this could separate us, a match like this. So that's why I'm going yeah. big on Muguruza. She started off well as well with a few break points. But if I'm honest, this is more Azarenka's stomping ground, the US Open. I'm not making excuses, but she does a lot better here. And Sounds I'm looking like an down excuse. the well, I'm looking down the record <laughs> here, mate. She's had three finals. Ah, she's very good there. Yeah, you're right. Uh last year and as well. Final last year as well, yeah. So Azarenka does very well at the U US Open. Looking at Muguruza, um I don't think she's even made a final. I don't think she's really even made the second week. Best she's ever got, fourth round. Never made even yeah. a quarter final. So it's her worst slam out of all of them. And wow. you'll be, listen to this, her win percentage in this slam is 47%. Ooh, moody. If you compare it to the Australian Open, it's 74%. Roland Garros, 78%. Wimbledon, 72 So it's a massive drop. Yeah. And for some reason, Muguruza, towards the end of the, of the calendar year, she struggles. And at the US Open specifically, not very good. So it's a bit of a worry when you read into things like that. But oh. she started very bright here until now. On her service game, could be facing some break points. She's love 30 down. She hooks that one. Oh, it's a shank. Yep. Yeah. It's a shank. Wow. It's a shank. It's love 40. And the... Cutting myself off. Uh, and the, uh, <laughs> the break points on either player's serve. And Azarenka Rock in the retro Nike outfit. The same one as Radu Kanu, uh with the same cap. The same yellow That's cap. orange visor. It's not. It's, yeah, it's a visor, not a cap. Since called it. Women don't wear caps. Oh, no. Misses the first serve. I don't, I don't know why. I should have maybe looked into these stats a bit more. I didn't know as Muguruza was so bad at the US Open. I wasn't. I mean, I wouldn't read too much into it. I think she can still perform. Uh, I, I, there's just part of me that just thinks uh, when I was going through the pick, Azarenka being last year's finalist, she obviously likes it Ooh, in this uh, one. tournament. One break point saved. Another two coming up. Yeah, it's been uh, the tale of break points these first two games. And I really like Muguruza on a side yeah, note. She's just a player really I can really get behind and support. Oh, yeah, for sure. I know you usually do support her more than me. You have her going deep in tournaments. I took yep. the, the baton this time round. Let's hope she doesn't let me down. She saves another one. Brilliant serve. I think the serve slightly can pip Azarenka. But ground strokes wise, Azarenka worries me. She fights, gets into that flow state. She, yeah. she doesn't really miss very often. I think she's one of these players as well, Mugalutsa, who uh, not only when she's in the flow state, but um, I, I just got a feeling that if she was to win more big tournaments, that you know how much bigger fan base she already has. I think it would like times ten if she was to win more tournaments. I think that she's got she's so marketable, yeah, and she's got so oh, she's got no, that Spanish into fire into the net. The Spanish fire. Well, Azarenka's thrown some water on it because yeah. she's got the break <laughs> right now. Yeah, I tried to uh, knock up a couple of quick buttons. There wasn't much time, so excuse me if they're not uh, of a high standard. But there's one thing guaranteed. 
they can't be as bad as Sloan Stevens. <laughs> That's the only thing I can guarantee. Sloan Stevens, the champ. But anyway, well, let's have a little look. As a rank up, the break, 10 minutes played. Um, let's see what a button's all about. Sorry. Has a record. She knows how to play. Has a record. She's gonna make it her day. <laughs> If it wasn't sad about my exam, I no, certainly it's not, have it's that not, after not, listening to that one. I know. It's it's just, it's... I brought a box of tissues. But... I know, I'm just welling up, mate, after hearing that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's not much of a celebratory one, but I just tried to find like a guitar sample and I threw it on there. I literally had about five minutes. I was like, I've just got to just make something, throw a beat on, throw a guitar on and just sing your heart out, lad. Yeah, I had to try and think of something. No, it's good, man. Something a bit different. Michael's crying. Uh, Supermodel says a bit somber. Yeah, <laughs> yeah very somber. Very somber. I just, uh, just I was it, during it. I wasn't even smiling or anything. I was just watching, just questioning my life. Like, why am I here? <laughs> I know. Watching the it's US a con- Open. contemplation. Uh, a lot of that. Maybe she's contemplating last year's final in that button. Oh, what a winner! Muguruza wants to hear us. Uh, I want to. Is it a bit more Spanish? It's Spanish, yeah, exactly. I ha- I I went to hers first, and Azarenka's was second, so I didn't have as much time to try and find the right. And unfortunately, I picked a sad sounding guitar for it, so uh, <laughs> it just ends up sounding super sad. It doesn't sound like you want Azarenka to win based off the song. She's gonna she's gonna make it her day, apparently, but it's gonna be some struggles along the way. Oh, that could have been another uh, little line in there. Yeah, <laughs> cool, might add that as another I feel verse. Like the button would play if she gets broken. <laughs> yeah, she, she can play gonna, it forever. Be, get the Azarenka button when she loses. If she loses, rather or than the Mugarusa if... button for the break, we play the Azarenka one. Well, there you go. See, Mugarusa could break straight back here. Thirty. <laughs> It was a good attempt, although somber. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what's she doing? She's making another mistake. What's she doing oh. at the moment? It's an easy one. It's Lifts a, it a, up. 30 all. As a ranker is, looking for the consolidation. She's lulled her into a sad state <laughs> after, <laughs> the, after the break. <laughs> I don't know if you've read out there head to head, but. No, not yet. A fascinating viewing. You've got Azarenka beat her in Miami. Uh, Muguruza come back and won the next one. Then Azarenka won in Rome. Then Muguruza won in Rome. And then the final one was supposed to be in Doha this year. Um, but there was a walkover in that one. I think Azarenka pulled yeah. out. It was a time when she had a lot of injuries. Yeah. So really, you can't really look at that. It's two apiece. And <laughs> the way it's going, Azarenka, Muguruza, Azarenka, Muguruza, it looks like it is Azarenka's time. Well, Michael was saying, what's the point to life, Azarenka? <laughs> it's got that bad. Well, I was thinking, I was just looking into my beer, thinking, <laughs> it makes why you am contem- I here? Contemplate <laughs> some stuff. I know, I should have done a... Don't worry, the Mugalutsa one, if she uh, she manages well, that, maybe I'll have, to, I'll have to change Azarenka's if she goes through. It's a bit too sad. <laughs> oh, is it out? Yeah, it there is. There we go, it is out. And Mugalutsa back on serve. She's my girl to go through, and it's 2-1. Back on serve. Let's see some Spanish button now. No one can shock her, can stop her. Gaminia, Muguruza, inside her, a fire. Gaminia, Muguruza, Muguruza. <laughs> Wait, I you, like it. That's awesome. You said you, you, said you wanted talk. a little bit more of just like... Uh, a bit more soul. Oh, yeah, a little bit more soul into the track. So I've tried to uh, give it a little bit of Latin vibe, but yeah. also with the passion of the Spaniards. Yeah, we've got Magni. I reckon it's going to be a very popular one. There's going to be a lot of Spanish um, fans, not even just that Latin fans who like that couple, couple kind of vibe. They're going to be yeah. really get behind that button and hopefully Muguruza and hopefully we see some good tennis from her. Back on serve. Can she consolidate though? That's the big question. 
Isn't it funny how a button can change how you want who you want to win? Now I sort of want Mogulitsa to go through. <laughs> <laughs> just based upon the buttons i don't know if i want to hear as because again it makes me makes me well up inside well we'll see well rafa's got a nice one well, even ramos had an all right one the spanish players that's that's my that's my type of music mate the spanish music i absolutely love it uh yeah, like the, no, the like spanish, spanish guitars are my favorite instrument I feel like your girlfriend right, likes it as well doesn't she yeah yeah Is that you Girl- telling me that girlfriend's dad he's a massive fan of the spanish guitars as well it's just i i just love them so yeah. much it's my favorite instrument like the classical guitar maybe something we've got in common because i'm very very fond of that kind of stuff as well because when you go on when you like there's if you play that music i'm instantly in on holiday somewhere in somewhere nice that i remember like somewhere like i could be in an evening somewhere yeah. having a meal and you just hear that type yeah. of music like yes it's hot weather i'm enjoying myself this is it this is this is life really that's how i feel when i hear spanish guitars i totally agree uh on the other hand the other one magdy saying hold on i'll rejoin soon azarenka's buttons making me <laughs> rethink life <laughs> So, <laughs> exactly. Stay strong, Magdi. I hope you can pull through. But what a winner that is from Muguru, uh, from Azarenka. She's in the shade there, down this side of the court, and pops up with a big forehand into the into the right hand side of the court. Love fifteen, going for another break. We've seen a few already. Oh, Muguru, so a great forehand there. Azarenka goes with the lob, and it's wide. Yeah. Can she consolidate the break? We I honestly wanna... think we're going to see a really good match between these two. I think so as well. Uh, the sun's out as well. Nicer weather. Uh, I don't know if you saw that video I sent you uh, last night. I sent it on the... Uh, the one of Rafa? On the, on the group. Yeah, I sent that today of him doing kick, kick heap ups. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. I love He's the, so, the Rafa so video good. You sent. He's so the good. Uh, the US Open with the hurricane. Oh, right, yeah. Oh, God. I've seen a lot. There's a lot of flooding and stuff going on in America right now. Thoughts to anyone who's caught up in it. I've seen a lot of people's basements flooded, houses. Um, Do you know um, Kerber, your winner? She actually Mm. slept inside the the gym at Arthur Ashe last night. Oh, wow. I'm not sure if that was the night before or last night, but you can have a look at that as well. Slept on on a cushion. She couldn't leave. She says slept. She was just in there working out, trying to get that last burn. <laughs> trying all to, night, maybe. That's it. She's finished her match and she was just still just doing the grind. A few bicep curls. I was quite pleased about that because I was thinking uh, Ben's win is going to be knackered now for the next game. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to lying on a gym mat for her bed. Oh, dear. Well, Liam said apparently the stadiums were the safest place to be. Maybe she was advised the best place to be would be to stay there. She must have had permission and she just opted for it. Well, I can understand why it is quite safe to be inside a stadium. Yeah. Well, if you saw those other things from the stadium, though, and don't be only be in certain places because where all those uh, drink stands, you see that whole drink stand went flying down the other end, nearly took people out. I also saw one guy in New York on a lilo smoking a shisha, just going down, going down. <laughs> there's the always street. one, isn't there? <laughs> no matter what disaster there is, floodings, and there's always one guy in a canoe. And or someone one... commented saying he's definitely going to get some disease from like 1666 or something. Yeah. <laughs> he's going to well, pick probably. something up, dodgy. Well, the other thing to what what is it they say? They say in New York City that there is. For every person, I think they said there was like 10 rats or something. Yeah. So you got to think how much That's disease. What I'm saying. If I know yeah. terms and disease, he's in essence swimming in. Ridiculous. And, <laughs> and don't forget COVID. <laughs> We've got COVID at the moment. I can't 21, imagine. Not 19. Oh, COVID the new 21. version. <laughs> You've got Audible asking, are we going to be doing Alcaraz Sitsa Pass? Yes, we'll be covering that one after oh, yeah. this. I don't know how much I can do of it, but. I'll have to play it by ear. Play it by your ear. I'd love to do all, if I'm honest, but it's one of them times. I think this is one of the toughest days, and after that, I can do more, maybe. Inside her, the fire. Is the fire inside her today. Great backhand from Mugalutza. Plays it into the other corner. Beautiful winner. Brilliant. From the Spaniard. 
I find and, it hard. What's the route for these two so far? Who have they played? I'm just having a look down here now. Muguruza straight sets against Vekic and Petkovic. Two two tough opponents. Yeah. Uh, Azarenka's a tad easier. I think Martin yeah, Kova's tough, easier. but Paolini isn't the best on the hard courts. But still, some impressive results there. The only thing I'm talking about when the reason I didn't pick Azarenka was I saw in, in Cincinnati against Barty where she picked up two games. She got bagel yeah. and then lost 6 2 in the second. And from that, I thought this is not the same Azarenka we saw last year. Wasn't really too convinced by that showing. Um, but what I've seen so far, she looks okay and played all right this tournament. Muguruza, though, is the one I'm really getting behind and the one yeah. I picked. I'm not going to lie. There is a side of me that wants Muguruza to win here today, even though I'm calling an Azarenka win in my bracket. I just don't know. You can't, you can't fight what, uh, who you support really. Like deep down, she's been a bit of a favourite of mine on the tour. I, I just like her style of play. I think she's yeah. got that. Maybe it's sort of, sort of that. I don't know. It just must be the Spanish thing, isn't it? Like with you, with Rafa, I think she just conjures that up on the women's side. She's got yeah. a lot of fight in her. And I like, she's a very, very aggressive style of tennis as well. She's exciting. She's really exciting to watch. When her serve's yeah. on as well, it's so solid. She's got one of the best games on the women's tour. Yeah, um, definitely. It's just, I'm glad her, her rating, her ranking, sorry, reflects it now because there was some time she was way down in the rankings, but she's moved up slowly. Um, and do you know where she is right now? Uh, right now, tenth. she That's is what I'm saying. She's moved into 10th. Into yeah. I was going to say, did you see the uh, the other match that was going on at the moment? Halep, well, Rubikina. we've got a medic for that right now. I'm not sure who the medic's for. I don't know if you want to check, but there is a I medic check, out yeah. on court. Um, it was an incredible first set. Halep stole yeah. it, really, at the death. Rubikina was a better player for large spells of it, but she won that one 13-11 in the tie break. But Rubikina's bounced back, and she's up a break in the second. For Rubikina, that's the medic. Ooh, that's annoying. Rubikina's okay. I think uh, I've that's, got a win in that one. That's annoying. Come on, Rib. She's up a break as well. What a time. How far time do you have Rib going? Uh, good point. I don't have a quick check on that. Let Probably me see. Me. I've got her going to the, I think it's the quarters. Yeah, I've got her into the quarters. We're meeting Kerber. She holds her serve, Muguruza. God, I have it again, and we consolidating the break for any any reason. see a better video video being made to that with the fire maybe some flames coming up as well like <sighs> making make into a real good button yeah i think that was gonna be a real good one that one no i like it man it's got a nice vibe i was thinking do i do it in a uh, actual spanish like do i do i was that gonna get too am i going too far now well, well, funny you say that i had an idea earlier that some of the buttons you could potentially sing in a native tongue um, yeah, I mean, I've thought about it, but I think Spanish... it is a, a nice touch, and Spanish is one you could maybe do better than than others. There is some, uh, <laughs> there's some languages I don't fancy you at very well. Uh, what there's... like Chinese or something like that, or yeah, well, Mandarin, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah Mandarin. Not, that's it. No, <laughs> there's some of there I'm not so sure about, but I think you could do a good job in Spanish because you can speak a bit of Spanish. Yeah, well, that's the why I was saying. Maybe I could have done the Muguruza button in Spanish because that's the other language which I actually do speak a little bit or of. French, maybe, I think you could do. I'll ask my mate Dylan. He can give me some tips. He can give me the. Uh, he can uh, set it up for me because he's half French. Well, Bahuma says saying, let's see, hear that Belarusian. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Let us know what languages you want Ben to sing and he'll do his best. Yeah, exactly. Maybe I'll get a Bulgarian one for Dimitrov. What's my Italian? Italian opera. My... Well, yeah, for no, sure. No, 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 That's no, more. No, no. no, I want more of a height one. <laughs> oh, God, I don't know. That's just that's going to be copyright. Oh, God, they've got Ribakina's feet out at the moment. That's a grim sight. I tell you. Come on, Apologies, Rib. I'm a massive fan, but I've seen 
I saw less strapping on Rafa's feet. This is that's saying something. Big point coming up here. Mogadosha's looking good. I think she's overextended it and dragged it wide. Yeah, she has. 30 all. We couldn't tell because the ball was in the shade. But this is an opportunity for Mogadosha to break her. Again, As three Arenka in a row. Was just, does. It's just, I don't know. It's that Barty performance. That's the only reason I've dealt with her this US Open. And I must admit, that is the only... And not just... Sorry, not that reason. Also, the fact that large spells of this season, she's been injured and suffered a lot. Yeah. Then you could say the same maybe about Muguruza. Yeah. Giovanni said Nassamore. Oh, what an ace there from Azarenka. And she just turns it on sometimes when she has to. Very nice serve. That's amore. They're interesting shorts, aren't they? <laughs> For Azarenka, they're like these uh, super baggy ones. Yeah, I really like them. They're like, uh, blo they're like granny bloomers or something. That's what no, it reminds man, it's me of. It's the fashion. I've what? got a lot, of, a lot of time for them. Granny bloomer fashion. You don't know about fashion, Ben. What, do you wear granny bloomers? I would wear them, yeah. Oh, my God. I don't want to see you wearing them. Please, <laughs> God. Please <laughs> don't. <laughs> I'll definitely lose you next time if you're wearing them. I won't be able to uh, concentrate properly. I could easily wear them, yeah. <laughs> They're a bit short, maybe, but... Going to make me throw them. up in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think they're I think they're nice. <laughs> no, they are good. I like, I'm not mad at the retro style. I really like it. Nice forehand for forehand rally. They go here. Oh, I like that. That forehand from Muguruza is one of my favourite shots of hers. It's where she just fires it. Oh, that one that she messed up there. But the one before was really good. It was a backhand, wasn't it? What are you oh no, four. <laughs> again, <laughs> losing my head. <laughs> All right, well, Ribikin is back on, on court again. That's uh, good to see. There's one other match which is playing at the moment as well. It's in the men's side, and it's a podcast double guest, Henry Laxanen. He's uh, one set all at the moment with Peter Gojovic, uh, yeah. and it's he's losing 4-1 in that third set. Gojovic is really the surprise package, it would seem. Well, Him and Andrew... Far. Let's be honest, they both yeah. are. No one expected them both to get this far. It's been a great tournament for the qualifiers. The qualifiers yeah. have done very well. What You've you got Molkan in there who's got, making a run. Seppi. Seppi. Seppi's smashing it. Man. I can't yeah. believe it. We've not even spoke about that. There's so many podcasts we'd love to do. Um, at the moment, we just don't have too much time. Hopefully that can improve. Um, I think... I know it's, we don't have many big events yet uh, left, but after this US Open, we're going to be doing full steam ahead with the podcast. We're going to have a lot more time. This period for us is very busy, uh, but we're going to make up yeah. for it the rest of the year. So stay with us. Like this video if you haven't already. Subscribe if you're new. Um, it's a bit of a rough period, this one, but we're going to come through it and produce better podcasts and watch longs for sure. Indeed, yeah. The winner of Laxon and Gojovic uh, is, or, or I, I'm swear I've been pronouncing it wrong the whole time. I think it's Gawachik, Gawachik, something like this. One. I'm not, I yeah, it's Peter. one of the worst. He's got five consonants in a row, which is unheard of, really. So, uh, can I have a consonant, please? Yeah, yeah exactly. And it isn't exactly a nine letter Ooh. surname as well, like Countdown. Oh, what a winner there from Azarenka. And she takes the game. Well done. I'm not feeling that sad to give the button. But no, well done. Don't, don't press it, please. Uh, <laughs> Laxon, the winner of the Laxon and Gold, Goldjewick. I think that's right. Goldjewick. Uh, they'll play the winner <laughs> of City that Pass noise Alcaraz. Your mouth. <laughs> please Gold, don't do that noise again. Goldjewick. <laughs> it's disgusting. Goldjewick. No, don't. With Alcaraz City Pass, who are they playing after? Is it this match? Yeah, yeah. That I mean, Sitapas and Alcaraz play the winner of Laxon and Good Go Week. But they're going to be on this court after these two. Yeah, they are. Oh, awesome. Yeah. So, oh, so we're not going to get any overlap. Five, it's good to see. Five one uh, against Laxon now in that third set. The next men's match to get going today will be Alexi Poprin up against GB's finest, Dan Evans. Can he get through? He is the favourite in this matchup. I think it's going to be a tough one for him, though, because uh, he just knocked out Dimitrov. Dimitrov seems to just retire in a, a lot of Grand Slams if he's yeah. not doing well. The, no, uh, well, there was a list, in fact, for this year. I can't, don't know if I can find it now. It was on Twitter. Of all of the reasons he's 
pulled out of an event <laughs> or reason. retired from a match. And they are just... All of them are different. Wrong honestly. outfit delivered uh, to an uh, event. Sarah Pova upset him before the match. Oh. No, I don't uh, know. There's been loads of different reasons as to why he's pulled out of matches. Um, it's quite a fascinating read. Go search it on Twitter and you can have a look. I can't recall them all now. Obviously, the one we covered was the fact that he had to go to the dentist in one of them and he had bad tooth. Yeah, maybe uh, sit a pass, uh, blocked his toilet, and uh, that was why he couldn't use the bathroom for the whole day before and he had to pull out. <laughs> <laughs> you just tried to do whatever to try and throw shade on Sitsipas. <laughs> You're a shameless individual. Wow. Where there's, where there's shame and shade, I think they go together. Talking of shade, Muguruza serving from the shade right now. Nice dry volley there, though, from her. 15 dove. Come Interesting. On. See what's and going on. And this match on. is going to go the disc. It's going to be a long one, isn't it? You've got Raptors yeah. saying this match is already making of a grueling free setter. There's 30 minutes played already. Um, we're not even halfway through the set. It's 3 2 on serve. This could be easily a three hour match, Ben. Yeah. Hope you're ready. I'm more than ready, mate. I just don't know if I'm ready to keep pressing the Azarenka button. I think it'll get me down. If it... <laughs> But I still want to hear it again. There's part of me that needs to uh, still refresh my memory of how sad it was. Yeah, I should have done some more Friday vibes, really. It was just too rushed. But then there was part of me that thought, we don't want another like electronic sounding one. They're all electronic. No, I think, I think it's okay. I think you okay. keep right. with it. It's not, I'm not saying it's bad. I think it's just different. It was, what? I think it after threw the, some people off. After the after Sloan one, it was just, I was just losing. I, it's hard ideas. to keep coming up with I had more ideas for the same. I don't, I don't know how you do it already, if I'm honest. It, what, I, so out of um, out of what I could do, it's just oh what a shot from Azarenka! It's that looped in now she's gone. Ah, oh, the looped second one, again, what a almost waste, real waste. I don't think we got notifications on this one again for the podcast. Let us know, guys. Did you get oh, notified really? when we was going live? It seems That's... to be a similar issue for this one as well. Let me double check. I can check uh, on my music account. See if we got one. It's always a good one to check through. My internet is not really working, great. Me, we didn't. But oh, what? Well, you got on your personal one? Um... Yeah. Yeah, I haven't got one either. How yeah, annoying. So it seems like we're still having issues with our YouTube account at the moment. Hopefully they can fix it soon. It does I'm obviously a, impact I'm try... people getting the streams. I've got an idea that I'm going to uh, try just a second, just to keep everyone up to date with the uh, thing. Yeah, well, what <laughs> happened last time, Ben? while you're doing that is it happened after about an hour and a half the notifications all sort of started going through but you yeah, have yeah. a little after look that's match. a brilliant drive volley from Muguruza 40-15 now looking to tie this one up free all and Elva said he got the he or she got the notification and there we go she does hold well played free all now all the threes, 33 minutes, three for Azarenka, three for Muguruza in the third round. Well, I'm, I'm just going to try and do is, it. Who's number three on our top tippers? It's empty at the moment. No one so far. Zach saying he got the notification. It's good to hear. We've got Serjan. Good day to you. Good day to you as well, mate. Thanks for joining us. I'm just going to put a post out on uh, the community because then at least people might see from the community. Oh, tries to pass a brilliant shot. Muguruza's growing into this match, playing better and better. Azarenka tried to come in for the volley. Muguruza just putting it out of, her, out of her reach a little bit and she misses the volley. I'm feeling positive now about Muguruza's play. It's only one point, but I feel, I feel good that she could maybe force a break here. Azarenka first serve into the... Oh no, it's just wide. It's hard wow. to see because it's in the shade, that side of the court. Okay, I've posted a uh, community post to see if that draws anybody else in. Just to say, if you've not received a notification, join us in the live stream. Surf. It's a shank. It's a big, big oh. shank from Azarenka. Oh, and right, opportunity, the... Muguruza.
Yeah, Zach yeah. got the reminder because he hit the butt, the reminder yeah, it's thing. The butt. Yeah, a it's all about different, different notification. Terrible yeah. miss hit there. It's like a grip's not. Yeah. She looks she's like a new was... grip. That's what happens to me when I don't grip my racket regular enough. <laughs> Just flies out your hand. <laughs> right. Come on, got to be in there. Calvinia. Ratchet saying I got the notification as well. Okay, it's weird. I didn't get one on my personal account. It's normally a good way of turning. But the other day, yeah, like an hour or something after the stream ended. I think YouTube's being very... We'll have to send them an uh, email. Big point. Azarenka comes in. Goes wow, for the lob. Big no, smash. It's no good. It's a poor shot though from Magurus. A bit timid. Very timid. Just looped it up, said smash it away. Who wins his first set based off what you've seen? Based off what we've seen, I think probably Muguruza. I think that she's hit the, the bigger, better shots. And I think that Azarenka, she started well. And now, I don't know, she, she looks like she could get bullied. Uh, in certain rallies, her serves looking better than oh, just I say that she can't throw it up. Typical, yeah. I was gonna say her serve looks better than Mugulutz's yeah. though. When she gets that first serve in, when she gets it in, she misses it. Uh, yeah, definitely no notifications, mate. So I don't know what's I'll going ask on you, Zach, a question. What did you make of the her catch match the other day? Obviously, he went out. We've Ooh, not spoken about it on yeah. the podcast. We know you're. Well, a semi fan of, of Hubi Harkach. Indeed. What do you yeah, make of his loss to Seppi, wasn't it? Yeah, Seppi just having a resurgence at the moment. I'm just super shocked. That's one of the shocks of the he's tournament. He's probably going to post his best ever slam result. I don't know what his furthest look is, but based off, I, I did see a graph of all of his results from, like, say, the last, I don't know, 10, 10 years or so. All of them round one, round two, round three max, I think. Do you see who he's he doesn't next? do very well. See who he's up against next as well. Um, is it Otte? Yeah, correct. Yeah, yeah. An opportunity. You yeah, I saw it. Him. Beat him. Well, he'd probably be favourite. He's not, unfortunately. <laughs> so I'd slight underdog, but very even. But I would say he's. I know the bookies are going to have it as that, but if he's just beaten who be her catch, then he should be the favourite. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. Oh, Azarenka, Azarenka with a massive forehand clips the outside edge of the line and takes it to 4 3 on serve. Wow. Time for some sadness or not? Ah, if you want, we can have a little bit of sadness just to uh, take us through the break. Sorry. She knows how to play As a record She's gonna make it her day <laughs> I mean, great shots from Azarenka But it's just oh, made me a little a bit sad one. It's really good It was a great shot I don't to... need a lot to cry, so I could easily <laughs> think of something <laughs> over. Sergio wants to know, is it you singing? Well, if well people were that. asking when we're getting you on a button last night. Well, soon. I want to know what, what I'll style. I'll do one button by the end of the year, for sure. What's, what style are we going to get you doing? Are we going to get you on a rap? Or are we going to get you on right. a... Uh, I can see you doing more of a rap, I think. I can do whatever, mate. I'm quite versatile, my voice. Okay, nice. What's sort of, Are you more of a baritone, a tenor? Tenor. Yeah. Give, it, give me 20 and I'll do it. All right. 20 it is. <laughs> <laughs> Fiver. You sound like more like a five. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, but what I do know, Azarenka, she's a. Uh, silence the critics a bit. And you've been one of them this much, saying that Muguruza has been playing better. Did you see that winner from her there? She, so, so, I think she gave a few of them. Wow, oh, it's a magnifique. And this match, that's only her sixth winner of the match. Muguruza with 12. 
been a pretty good one, actually. Into the net there from Azarenka, though. What happens if uh, <laughs> if Azarenka plays Radu Kanu? Do they both wear the same outfit? I don't understand what happens then. Yeah, but and they're different they... outfits, aren't they? They're nearly identical. No, Azar uh, Radu Kanu's is a dress. No, it's not. I'm pretty sure it is. No, it's shorts and the top like that with is the yellow. Sure I'm not. Short, uh, the look... shorts might be different. That's the only. Difference. I don't think they're shorts. I'll have right. to have a look. I can I can look right now. Yeah, well, I'm looking right now as well. I thought it was a dress. It seems to be like a longer. No, it's blue shorts she's got. So it is like... a semi kind of. It's exactly uh... the same except for the shorts. That's why I said I got it right. Yeah, it is the same. The top's exactly the same. The short, are they shorts? It's like it's got a bit of a, it's not really shorts, is it? It's more of a skirt type shorts. Yeah. As a rank, out. yeah, yeah, it might be a skirt then. Azarenka might be old enough to be her mum. <laughs> <laughs> How old is Azarenka? That's a good point. <laughs> no Lots offense, in front to back saying everyone hit that like too. button. Okay. If everyone hits the like button, we could get to 100 likes. Support game to love, yeah, indeed. We, Thanks for reminding us. We always forget, but yeah, yeah. We already we've got 100 people there, but we've not got 100 likes. And Guys, if you want to join the GTL family proper, then why not join our Patreon? Uh, we've got, I think, 12 members now. We've got a premium Discord channel where you can speak to myself, speak to JG uh, off stream, and uh, we'd be doing some post-match discussions on there as well, plus some other little content just for premium members first or Patreon members first, which were... They'll get the first look at Challenge JG, which is a series coming soon. In this one, for all. Cha-ching. <laughs> right. Oh, nice return there from Mugaluta. Really strong. good. Oh, I'm hoping this I is like. where she comes alive now. She's seen the business end button. This is her moment to pounce. Perfect start. Attack and return. Azarenka 32. So uh, she could have had uh, Radu Kanu when she was 14, maybe, but that's a bit young. Could you be my dad? How dare you? <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> no, I don't think so. I don't think. Granda. <laughs> Sod <off. laughs> Well, Michael's saying I'm drinking now, Azarenka. Is that saying cheers or are you just depressed? I don't know. <laughs> Which one is it? Pretty sure it was a game to love as well, saying Magdi, was it? Did we miss it? Are we this are we off the ball? Are we, we're not on the ball today at all, I don't think. Yeah, it was. Cheers, Magdi. Well, we Get that. Now, can we? Yeah, we can do it. Yeah, I can't. Better late than never. Better late no, than never. We're gonna see one here. It's gonna be a game to love break. We'll do two in one. Oh, what a shot from Mugaluta. Great recovery skills from Azarenka. It's wide yeah. and it's love 40. Come on. Vamos. Gansinha. Vamos. Here we go. This one's going to do a <laughs> double game to love for Azarenka in the last one as well. John Silkin. Not sure I like where this conversation, Ari, age is going. Uh, and old enough to be my dad. John John's Silkin. like an uncle to me. Uncle John. Is, is John your dad? Is that what you're trying to allude to? <laughs> well, in theory, an uncle can be younger than you, right? Yeah. I think my... I think my You can have an uncle who's younger I, than you, I which think I my, find a bit bizarre, but... I think my girlfriend has the same. It's like her; she's the auntie to people who are the same age or older than her, or something like this. Yeah. I don't know how it works. It's like uh, I always get to think too much. It, it makes but... my brain hurt yeah. when I try and think of the logistics of oh, that. Yeah, I'm not smart enough, but there we go. He said I would take Uncle John. Uncle John, it is. It's lucky his name's not Sam. <laughs> Oh, Here into the net, on, and it is the break. GTL, GTL, GTL. This is for both of you. No one can shock her, can stop her. Caminha, Muguruza, inside her, her fire, the 
Bogovinja, Mugo Rusa, Mugo Rusa. Hey, Garbinia Mugalutha. It's so great to see uh, somebody just playing with a bit of fire in their belly right now. Azarenka's trying her best to fend her off. In the other match that's on at the moment, Ribakina, she's she got broken back after the medical timeout, and now she's broken back again. So she's serving for the nice. second set. Come on, the rib. And we're going to have to start learning how to say this name's, this guy's name because he's tearing it up right now and heading into yeah, what would be... Is that the fourth round if he wins this one? Yeah, yeah. Amazing. I, I know. And who would he play in the fourth round? He would be playing the winner, I think it is, of Otty. And I think it's in that little section. I think it's a no, that's real... That's a Vasco Bellatini, the winner of that one. Oh, is it? Okay, apologies. Let me just go to a Goyo. It's the oh, winner yeah. of Alcaraz Sitsipas. Oh, that's it. Sorry, I had it up earlier. <laughs> Damn it. He makes it up as he goes along. I do. I'm just... But maybe Gojovic Alcaraz? Am I dreaming? No, I think Sitsipas... Well, I don't know. Will Sitsipas be fearful of a Peter Gojovic right now? The man in form, he's playing so well. What's the name? I feel like we're going to have to hear how it's said because I can't, I don't even want to say it anymore. I'm just. By the way, the buttons I think are very good. I think you've underplayed it. These are two of the best buttons you've ever made. Ah, nice. It's a different vibe and it's exactly what we needed. We needed variety in the buttons and I think you've uh, excelled in that regard. Zach saying he loves it. I agree. I think it is really good. Uh, Luca asking, do you think Djokovic will complete the calendar slam? We both think no, but what do we know? Well, this is what, well, this is the one thing. And I thought that we needed the buttons to get even like to, to go to another level because there's just something's been going on in this U S open where people don't seem to be as interested in this first week. So if you're not interested in that, then I'm going to make some, damn good buttons that you're going to come and listen to and you're going to make you even more excited to come back again that's the you got to try try your best to, point. Oh, seven minutes. another game to love is it going to be is that three in a row let's have a look oh yeah i think it might be, be. Yeah. Hat trick. Mugurusa, one for hazarenka can she get the set point ribikin has taken the second set go on the rib oh misses the first serve always the way always the way oh lost the ball there I don't know where it went oh, great return from Azarenka oh it's just long down the line lucky though denied like that. it's a good return though so I'd have been surprised if she'd managed to get it in but she got there in enough time I was seeing in the women's draw it's one of the first times for many many years that we've had all of the seeds advanced through round one and two. Wow, yeah. It doesn't happen. We've got seeds from one to 20, <clears throat> all remaining. I think there was only one who went out being, but that's in the there third. There you go. Round. Yeah, that's in, it's a bit crazy. Not yeah. that we come to the expect. The seeds are doing great. And well done to Muguruza. She takes the set and consolidates the break. <laughs> and before the button, I just want to say, like the bit like the video subscribe if you're new it is Mugurusa time no one can shock her can stop her Gavinia Mugurusa inside her her fire Gavinia Mugurusa Mugurusa Yeah, the only thing I'm struggling to add to like a lot of these tracks is just like a bass line. That's the only thing. Like I want to just like uh, add all the instruments, but there's just not enough time a lot of the time. And the bass line's always my that's like my Achilles heel. Like of, on tracks is trying to create bass lines, and it's I'm not very musically gift gifted, so I'm not sure what what that would entail. Well, you just got to make sure that you're hitting all the right notes and you've got to try and decide what whether you want like a driving bass, which would be like something that's like do 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 do
or something like slow mm. or you can you can dictate like the pace of things same with drums as well they would like to dictate the pace of the track but the bass is like the one just gives it the depth gives it like an extra just like i don't know it makes it more rich sounding so uh, it's just missing it's a little bit like hollow at the moment it's just a, it's just like doing an acoustic set right now there's not there's only just a, a couple of spanish guitars you sold me i'll have one of them <laughs> put it in there we've got we've got magdy saying uh ben i really appreciate your buttons didn't have the best day today and you guys plus the buttons made me laugh very hard well, that's good nah, that's good to hear We're not always the most knowledgeable but if we can brighten your day um <laughs> talking about plus. we're like super brains super we try, but with work and stuff it's difficult to do a lot of things at once super that's nice. why if we can get the patreon going it means we don't we can do more tennis that's it. I mean, anybody, even if you just wanted to join three pounds a month, uh, it's one of these is more than that. So three pounds a month. No, I think that's a lie. I think a whole pack of a whole a half a, a half <laughs> no, a pack you're of thinking four. about in the pub. In not the pub, when, yeah. From the shop. Well, actually, it depends. I've paid more for, for a can, if I'm honest. If you go to an event, you pay oh, a lot. Yeah. It's <laughs> ridiculous. I don't understand. How, how is it in some places? I've even... Room. I've even been to a bar before where it was one of these bars, which is just like a like retro bar. Like, oh, look. Oh, we're the worst. Yeah. They're, they're, oh, look, no, we're crazy. Great, the atmosphere, but they just charge ridiculous there's, prices. There's no, there's not even, there's no, there's, they've just got fridges. They don't have a uh, like draft pool. Oh, and then you go in there. Fridges. Yeah, no, don't. There's no mini fridges in there either. They're bigger fridges, but there's no draft. And I went in there and they're just selling stuff like that. But, like six pounds a can or something you're like what Gosh. six pounds you can buy four of them for five pounds just quickly cutting back to the match the last 15 points Muguruza's won 14 of them and she's looking to break here early in the second set it's looking good it's been it's one-way good. traffic really since the business end well she's hit the she... business end and won what's it 14 points and azarenka only won well, you got to think she was too love up in that first set as well. So, yeah. so what a time the... to peak for Muguruza. Yeah, it's really good. Great return there oh, as well. Lands on the baseline. That's out though. Oh. She's done it twice there. Went a bit too crazy. Gift re... as an anchor a point, 15 30. Looks like Laxanen might be heading out. He's a breakdown in the fourth set. Uh, already two sets to one down. And we've got Ribakina threatening the break early in that third nice. set. Come on! Get that break! Someone, I think, who's sneaking under the radar is Andreescu. Yeah. We haven't spoke about that. The seventh seed, obviously the champion, not too long ago at the US mm. Open. Can she Wasn't convinced, shock more people though. and win this whole thing? Wasn't convinced. It was straight sets, mate. I know, but I wasn't convinced in the way in the way she did straight. That's not a normal straight, straight sets. Against Lauren Davis. It wasn't in a, America. If, if you saw the way the actual match went, it was not a confident straight sets. It was being broke. She was down a break in both. She was down a break twice in the first set. She was down a break, broke back, got broken again, and in the second set, she got broken twice as well. It was she was oh, down a break maybe twice. What champion spirit then from her? She's not playing well, still finding oh, results, and she's been rewarded as well in the next round with Greek Minin, someone who she should be beating. How dare you leave Greek out of this? Greek, I don't know. I'd be cheering probably Andreescu on, but I wouldn't be surprised if Greek turns up again. No, Whoa, what a shot start. down the line there from Muga. No, Andreescu's got her. Sorry, Andreescu's winning that one. Yeah, probably. I hope so. But, and then, and then the winner of that will be Kvitova Sarkari. Oof mean what nice about this stuff. one how about this one let's get some thoughts in the live chat as well on this one because i don't want people to think too long on it collins danielle versus sabalenka arena <laughs> what one why did you say it like that? <laughs> i don't good. know so i read I collins, think, first. I think collins wins wow high praise from JG. I think I've gone against Sabalenka every match, more or less, ever since the Wimbledon one. Yeah, what? Well, because she just killed your uh, treble 
accumulator of England to win the Euros, Sabalenka to well, win England the Wimbledon. Anyway, but I know but... about an eight hundred pound cash out. What was the other one as well? It was on the Djokovic, Djokovic, Djokovic to win the Australian or the French Open or which one? Wimbledon. Wimbledon. Okay, that was it. Not the French Open. You were definitely. John Silk going. saying Collins. Uh, everyone's saying Collins. They fancy her, apart from Cam, who's going for Sabah. Interesting. That one's the last match on as well. That's the very late one. We've got a very interesting match, which is going to be on tomorrow. I don't know how interesting you think it is. It's Alex Zverev, Jack Sock. <laughs> I quite like the sound of that match, to be honest. I don't find it. In- I don't think it's interesting. I think it's got one hour 20 written all over it. Oh, poor Jack Sock. It's Jack Sock. No, I think he's going to win. All oh, right. Okay. Cool. <laughs> no. What about Monfils versus Sinner? That's another good one. That's a good one, yeah. I think Sinner will have enough, though. What about Chapeau Harris? I know you dismissed John earlier when he said it, and I was listening to the podcast. I think John's got onto something real there and saying about how Chapeau can go all the way to the final. Mm. I kind of... Not again. I, no, 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 listen, I'm not saying he's going to get all the way to the final, but I think people are sleeping on him a little bit. Oh, yeah, and for Chapo sure. And Chapo could do something special this tournament. I'm expecting... No, I'm not expecting it. I think that could be the real shock, Chapo going far. Well, he does better when no one talks about it. Yeah, because like, there's no pressure on yeah, him at yeah. all. And I like what John was saying about Chapo. I was I was sitting there listening and nodding, if I'm honest. Which, he's got a nice section. Yeah. Uh, that's for sure. He could get all the way into the, is it the quarters? But he'd be facing potentially Zverev or, well, it's or Sinner, I guess. Yeah, Zverev would be the quarters. You never know. Yeah. No, I liked it when he said that. Azarenka here, though, fighting back. She managed to hold her serve. And now it is Muguruza's turn to serve, struggling with the ball toss there. And she won the first point as well. Love 15. Is this one going to be going to three, you reckon? Oh, foot fault there from Muguruza. I think it probably... Well, I went three at the beginning, so I'm still as good. I've got to stick a with Az- Azarenka in three. How was that a foot fault? Oh, maybe she touched... No, nah, but she... I don't understand fault? that. She How made connection with... they with it? They made... She made connection with the ball. She didn't land and that... I don't understand. Like the ball had already no, I like Mike must have crossed. Anyway, backhand winners. Azarenka, that's only her second backhand winner of the match. Mugurusa with five. And she's looking to break here. But she did break in the first set and go two love up, and it didn't really help her. So I wouldn't read too much into it yet. We got Rubikina in the other match trying to consolidate an early break, but Halep sort of pegging her in a juice at the moment. <laughs> Oh, and Rubikina has gone into the net, unfortunately, on that one. Azarenka looking for the break, though. Great I'm return. Sure. How far do you have Rubikina, then? I forgot what you said. Uh, I think that they... I think it's only as far as the next round. She, oh, well, I've got... No, actually, I've got to go to quarters against Kerber. That's it. Oh, misses that one. Come on, Mogulusa. Brilliant. Azarenka looks a bit rattled. Oh, she looks she's mad. Shouting. She looks well swearing. angry. Yeah, it looked like it. <laughs> swear word. Yeah, it seemed like it. Maybe a Belarusian swear word. And we're approaching the hour mark. Two minutes to go. Look at that. Net points won by Muguruza. Seven out of seven. Yeah, that was another one from her. She's good at the net. Muguruza, mm. great hands. Does she play much doubles? I don't really know. Uh... I've not really been aware of her playing. Really. No, I can't think either. I'd like to see her at mixed doubles. Her and Rafa, maybe. Oh, maybe her and Alcaraz. I'm sure it's happened before, Muguru Sarafa. Must have. I forget when it did, though. We've had we've had Djokovic, Ivanovic. Oh, no, double fault. Djokovic, Jankovic. Oh, and Halep's broken back straight away. He can't keep a good girl down. No, I don't think they have. But she was just saying, I would like to play mixed doubles with Rafa at the Olympics. It never happened. Who wouldn't? That was the big talking point, whether they were. And then, well, uh, the rest was history. Rafa withdrew. Yep. 
Max wants to know what we make of Radu Kanu versus Cerebres Tormo. Well, the tie of the next round for me. I know there's every, everyone else picking these other matches. Being a Brit, Radu Kanu, I can't wait to see how she gets on against the hard hitting Tormo. Yeah, that's a close one. It's like a 50 50, but I'd have to edge maybe with Cerebres Tormo. I, I know it disappoints you, I but you, I'm being honest. I bet you Radu Kanu's favourite. No, no, she's not. Just underdog. Wow, they finally put her as an underdog. Just. Yeah, but not by March. It no. Should, it should be like 1.3 Tormo. Yeah. She's a 40th in the world. Radu Khan is 150th. But Radu Khan. Yeah, there'll be a lot of people back in Radu Khan either. I'm sure. <laughs> Look at Radu Khan's form, though. It's actually insane. She's uh, only lost two matches. And there's the break for Azarenka. Damn. Has a record, she knows how to play. Has a record, she's gonna make it her day. It's Is she, is she going to make it her day? Yeah, Radu Kanu, she's won. If you don't include where she just pulled out of the match against Pali Zastia. Yeah, you don't count that. Yeah, she has won 11 of her last 12 matches. She hasn't dropped a set in her last five matches. It's pretty crazy. Ooh. Is that wide? Look wide. That was a bit of a mad in. point. <laughs> mad oh, I, want to see the, I want to see the bounce on that. <laughs> That Must was a bit close. Weird. Well, Azarenka Muguruza lost the point of the net. Let's have a look at the replay. She, it was what was what was her reaction speed there though? Muguruza <laughs> just like hit right at her. I don't know. You can't really see from that angle. Whoa! It, it's maybe it was just wide. An Didn't well to get it back, but it was wide. Do you reckon she should have left it? Nah, it's going in. Yeah, probably. Oh, great length. You got there. hit them ones. Nice backhand from Muguruza. Kept in play. Oh, she's hit the baseline there, Muguru. So she's thinking about stepping in. She steps in. Oh, she's done a very strange shot. She's punished down the line. Azarenka passes her. Yeah. Bad shot, Muguru. So there, she got lost she in no man's It was hand. difficult. It was really difficult. It was one no, of those high looping the, ones. I bet she picked the wrong shot. She could have smashed or she could have waited for it to come down and hit it normally. She hit it at a weird yeah, position. Mis mistimed it big it time. Was like, yeah, yeah. It was like in 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 between a smash and a forehand, right in that weird place where you can't really hit it properly. Well, you can yeah. get on top of it sometimes from there, but she just got the timing all wrong. I think you're right. Just timed everything wrong there. And Azarenka took advantage. Got Great Karatev back. playing right now. Oh, is he up against a who? No, he's not. Here he is. I just... No, he's not. I can guarantee you, Aslan Kratzev is playing right now. Is he playing doubles then? Not <laughs> yeah. playing singles. <laughs> he's playing against Kolov and Roja. He's Who's he playing? Is he mixed? Neddy or Siv. Is he mixed or men? It's not mixed doubles, no. Right. Why are you getting Neddy is no, sorry. I'm mad that. about mixed doubles. <laughs> no, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, I don't know. I don't know why you said it. That's all. <laughs> What's his it's partner's not... name again? Neddy, well, Neddy Ozov. He's down Ned in the tire break currently, 5 3. It's Kudov Roger. It's a good one. Who the hell is Ned Dodiosov? Um, he plays no. singles as well. 419th in the world. I've watched one of his matches. I'm sure you have. Yeah, in fact, Less, I've maybe more than one. Lost to Mercer Basic last match. Is that uh, your consolidation, mate? You're missing out. You're quick to yeah. press the Muguruza buttons. <laughs> Is that those kids playing that bottle game? <laughs> Why are they flicked to that? They all think they're curious now. And they go, oh, oh that oh, good guy. <laughs> the bottle flip. Oh, he almost did it again. I know. She's not With that, you need it. some fluid in them. Yeah, I don't think she's, she's mastered she's, it. Her uh, one's too, too full, I think. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't think she's got the technique. Um, nah, you've got well, Renard saying, damn, you guys, the grind is real. How do you even find time to eat, piss and sleep? We don't. There's we no try. time. 
Time it is an illusion. Time is an illusion. Hey, she did it. <laughs> She's over she the moon. It. Yeah, she did it. <laughs> the cameraman picked up on it as well. Yeah, there must have been a replay. No way that he just flicked back and she just did it. Don't know. Well, weird that they flicked to that during it's the live, break. So maybe. Yeah. Well, I don't that think those bits footage. are. I reckon Ooh, that's Karatsev cool. tied it up six all now in the tie break. He's fighting back. What? Six all in the tie break? Yeah. Really? Oh yeah. <laughs> what the hell? He's down. Yeah, yeah. What was it? Five three. Yeah. Kulhoff is good as well. They both are. Got Roy Ro- yeah. Both great doubles players against two single players. Royer. 40, Royer. John, John Julien. <laughs> Liam saying Ben's just seen a ghost. <laughs> what did you what? do? I don't know. Probably just went, what? <laughs> <laughs> ben seen a Shocked ghost. Shocked that, uh, ah, oh, and Laxon's out. Peter Goyoyic is through. <laughs> I'm waiting. For, I'm looking forward for your button on him. <laughs> the I want to see you singing his name. <laughs> yeah, Peter. Peter, 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 Pump, Peter Pumpkin Eater. I don't know what it's going to be. Dan <laughs> Dan Evans up a break already against Alexi Poprin. Go on, the Evans. Wow, and Azarenka is playing a lot better now. Just as yeah. he fires that one into the net. Oh, Halep's three one up against Ribakina. I said, as my dark course on the last one, I think Halep could go all the way. Oh, it's so annoying. But that's as the event happened. I had Rubikina pre, pre-event. It's just annoying. I think you had Halep going out first round, didn't you, Ben? <laughs> I don't know. Who, all right. well, who was she playing? Yeah, I think I did. She was playing Georgie, wasn't she? Went for a punt. <laughs> a little punt. It didn't work, did it? Punt. Yeah, the best. Failure. Went for a punt on Azarenka this match. At least she's not letting you down. Oh, she's a set down. There's a bit of a shank. <laughs> a shank from Mugaluk, sir. <laughs> Sam wants me to create a button saying, come on, JG. You're Jay Genius. Yeah, well, <laughs> where's your genius? Put your genius into buttons. I think that's a fake persona, Sam. It's not really me. <laughs> Jay Loser. Doesn't even begin with it. Well... Spelling was never his forte. <laughs> Jay <laughs> Jay. Jay Grinder. <laughs> Jay Grinder. I'm trying to think of another one. Well, it always one goes, always always goes up. I'm not saying it off on the stream. Oh, okay. Well, there oh, you, you go. can see there the footfall. Oh, come on. That is oh, ridiculous. That... Oh, that's it. That, I'm really, I'm fuming now. By it's that. like a millimeter. Why are they doing that to Muguruza? She's being right. cheated out of this. It wasn't All even right. a footfall. What's the rules? It wasn't even a footfall. You need to you get. You can't touch the line. Mate, she was hardly. You can't even see it. She went over it. Oh come on! Are you telling me players don't do that? Well, I don't know. About 10 it match, I'm not no saying that. Oh, it's another shank. I'm not saying it doesn't happen. I'm just Liam saying that if it does happen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just grinder, they call him. Yeah, maybe not the best choice of words, that one. Yeah, I'm not saying it doesn't happen. I'm saying that if it does happen, you don't really have cause for complaints. It's like toilet breaks, long ones. I'm not saying it doesn't happen, but if they do happen... Yeah, but she's just being picked on, isn't she? Because look, I'm sure loads of players do it by oh, that. Oh, the winner from Azarenka. Cross court. Let's have a cry. Oh, wow. Victoria. Azarenka. She knows how to play. Gonna 
the bully, Azarenka. She knows how to play. <laughs> so proper. Did you listen to the Kooks yet? So no, it's not that there. song. I just wanna die. I just wanna die today. I wanna Is that a song? Die. I'll send it to you. <laughs> I'm going to listen to it later when I'm studying. Liam saying, thanks for giving me depression. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I'm going to turn it into an upbeat one if she goes through. Then you'll be loving it. No, be I like, like the sad one. I think we should have more sad parts. <laughs> well, Liam there saying, thanks for giving me <laughs> depression. <laughs> I've just clicked that one and read it. What are oh, you doing? Mate, I don't know. I'm just I'm not with it. Losing your mind. Sam saying, Oh my god, Ben, this is making me even more depressed. I'm already dealing with my thesis. Oh god, I'm apologizing. Oh, I remember when I did my thesis. It's a good time. No more sad buttons, please. Uni is enough already. Oh, everyone's getting down in the dumps with Azarenka. We're coming into exam season, Ben. Oh well, yeah, sod that. Or are we? I don't know. I think it's we're like going into start, starting uni season, I think, isn't it soon? No, September. There's a lot of exam deadlines coming up. Back to yeah. school day. You have to get your uniform out. Ben's still got it as he goes into it every now and then. Yeah, I'm still fit. Work? I still fit. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, <laughs> Two it's bright like points, Muguruza. It's like hot pants now. <laughs> Not a, a horrible mental image for everybody there. Lucas saying, Do you, have you guys had COVID-19 once? Not me. I've had it. Yeah, doesn't surprise me. I don't know if I've had it, actually. I've never had a test. I've had the vaccine twice. He probably but... has. It's a bit of a super spreader. Yeah, I probably have had it. I've just got just uh, just one of those amazing immune systems, you know. Drink a beer a day, keeps the doctor away. John saying my deadline for my master's thesis was mid October, but that was uni in Hamburg. Mm. I'm assuming just... that wasn't this year, though. That's just good. I'm sure you did well, John. That's the break. Intelligent chat and Mogulusa break straight back. A lot of breaks going on now. Uh, 2018, John's was. Nah, no button. Sam <laughs> saying, I'm doing my master's thesis now, due September 13th, so not long to go. Well, good luck in everyone who's doing any kind of examinations at the moment, any degrees. Yeah. I wish you the best of luck. I'm hoping this is the month everyone passes it, all of their exams. Yeah. Good luck to everybody doing those. I don't envy anybody who's uh, partaking in exams. If you want to start another course and you're not on a course, Ben is going to be holding applications for a button making course starting next year. Ben yeah, well, we had Va I, someone was saying, I think it might have been Vanch, or so was it some, one of the other people saying they wanted to make a toilet break button for the channel? If you want to make a toilet break button, feel free to make it, send it in. Uh, <laughs> Send it on a Google, put it on a Google Drive, send the link to a uh, game to love podcast uh, at gmail.com, I think. And Stephanie's starting university. Good luck to you. Wow. Honestly, it's the best few years of my of your life. Um, I'm jealous, if anything. Is it a bit different now with the pandemic? Yeah, uh, maybe. I think bit. it can take Spoiling a little it. bit, but it is so much fun. University, I can't, I can't recommend it enough. Enjoy it. Just enjoy it because. <laughs> say it nicely, but life goes what? down. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> yeah, you you find yourself have a great few years, but after that it gets a lot worse. Three, three years later, you find you yourself doing a you're doing a tennis podcast. Well, this on is YouTube. actually a, a shining light. I mean, to be honest, I quite like this. Your life's down Wouldn't the do pan. I didn't, I didn't like it. Life's down the pan, and you're talking about Garbinia Muguruza and listening to depressing Azarenka <laughs> songs on YouTube. He just set over for Azarenka. That's another double fault for um, Muguruza. No, sorry. Is this set over for Muguruza? I keep getting these two's names mixed up. Well, the end in A. That's about the only similarity. I don't know. I feel like Muguruza's focus is now on... It's one of them women's matches. This one could be 6-1. And then Muguruza will be back in the third, I think. There we go. Misses that one. I think it could go that way. This has got 6-1 written all over it. And I think Muguruza will take the third. I've got 
I'm trying to think of when we're going to be able to eat. <laughs> After this match, is there any opportunity to uh, get some dinner in before sit at Bass Alcaraz? Is it weird? I don't get hungry much recently. It's, it's a bit weird. Yeah. Maybe because if you're not eating, your stomach shrinks and you're not as hungry. Yeah, I guess so. I'm not eating much this week. It's tough. These streams, you just can't I don't know. hunger either. Just not. That hungry. Oh, great backhand. I just find that, that doing streams yeah, all day, I get, I get more hungry. Diazarenka going for another break. I think she's going to do it. Liam saying, hey, fellas, anyone else think Ash Barty will win the US Open? Probably. Yeah, a lot of people. <laughs> but <that's laughs> the, the, the most popular pick in our bracket. So out of all, the, all of the GTO community, Barty was picked more than anyone else. I was thinking of doing that as well, having a look through it and working out what the GTL community do for all of the, like a, we should have like a favourite. So when we're doing our picks, we have, say, later on, we can look now and have the GTL favourite player, the GTL favourite dark horse. We can just like copy that. what the, the what everybody's picks. And then we can our, put, hold, hold you accountable rather than us when you get for it our wrong. our draw preview, we'll just use your picks. Liam saying I'd be surprised. Well, the other Liam. So we've got a Liam battle going on here. Liam right. Radloff versus Liam Holdaway. And Holdaway's come in. I'd be surprised if she didn't. But women's is very open. Maybe we should make a very own Liam group chat for them to engage in. All right, breaks. Break a serve. No, that was inevitable. Has a record, she knows how to play. Has a record, she's gonna make it her day. Here we go, we're in the rally in this set. Seems to be doomed for Muguruza, but she's hitting some good shots now. Just getting a bit of warm up, I reckon, for the third set. Going for the break. Zach saying this is the saddest songs Ben's ever written. <laughs> yeah, it is. It definitely is very, very sad. I think it's made Ben so sad he's had to leave the stream. He's gone to grab another box of tissues. He's already finished the first one. But I don't know. It's growing on me. I don't mind a different kind of vibe. We can't have all the same energy. It's good to have sort of a sadder one, a happier one, and a bit of in between. Dawn's broken sense. Go Vika. Looking good right now. But Muguruza's levels dropped a lot. Into the net, though. And Muguruza looking to break again. There's been a lot of breaks. In fact, I think Muguruza's only game's been a break. Is she going to be able to get another one? Leonardo saying, I like the style. Yes, it's different. I like it too. And currently, right now, some of the other matches going on. Obviously, we had Gozovic, he beat Laxon, and Dan Evans is up a break early against Poprin. Uh, and on the women's, it looks like Ribakina is going to be going up to Halep. Um, Halep shortly is going to be serving for the match. And three break points here for Muguruza. I don't know if it means too much. Let's be honest. But you never know. That would be only one break then. So Back again. So I was just getting a bit sad. I had to go off and have a cry in the bathroom. Where did you go? Toilet. Shut the toilet. Let's grab another beer quickly. I was timing you. It took you eight minutes. What were you doing in the toilet for eight minutes? I was looking in the mirror just with a tear in my eye after the uh, as you texting? No, I just got a beer from the fridge. Another she one. wasn't texting in the toilet. Only uh, sit past his dad messaged me during uh, the break, but I didn't message him back. As a ranker. Dawn is broken asking, are you saying there's a beer button? I just got here. Well, welcome, Dawn. We don't have a beer button. We've got a game to love button, which is champagne. Yeah, we're going to try and get beer on it, though, I think. 
it's going to be more fitting. I don't think we're really this. Well, you're probably more a champagne type. I'm not I'm really. On. I don't. Yeah, you you like to put more prosecco and things I like, like prosecco, the Italians. Yeah. yeah, so I mean, it's more that like bubbly stuff. I prefer that like, the beers. But JG and Ben, friends from university. Yeah, I'm, I was his tutor <laughs> at university. Ben was the cleaner. He didn't get into the course. I was. Yeah. Well. Are you taking the <laughs> taking the mick out of cleaners, mate? No, it's I'm just saying not, you. It's not. It's not very. It's not very fair, is it? No, nothing wrong with cleaners. What are you trying to say? I'm <laughs> just saying. I'm trying to say, if you saw the flat, I'm in. I'm trying to say, I'm Jay Genius, and you didn't quite make it. You didn't make the cut. Say, so if you, you wouldn't believe I was a cleaner if you came around here. I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you you did used to do some cleaning, though, didn't you? For a period, mate, I did it when I was eighteen. That was my university. I went and worked in the uh, French Alps, and then did room cleaning and like bit like that sort of like when you service rooms and stuff like that. You just go in and you change the beds and all that type of thing, and then Hoover clean some bathrooms, clean the toilet. Do you still do thing. any of that now or not? Yeah, just do a little bit at home though. Only. No, because I was, I was wondering. Let me know your rate. I'll give you a ring because I could do. Oh, wow, nice. A bit of a mess. That doesn't surprise me. <laughs> get you round. I'll get King Leon to. We'll stream it. <laughs> peng, peng, I'm going round. I'm going round King Leon's already. He's already. Uh, <laughs> he's already King signed Leon's me up. It. I already. I already take his bins out. Is that the break? No, it's not. Just misses wide there. I've seen a few break points. There's another double fault. This, this match quality has gone down a little bit for sure. Uh, I agree with Zach here. Ben is writing sad songs because the Google YouTube algorithms are being evil. Yeah, not sending out our notifications to uh, the GTL community. And JG has been too busy studying. We need more patrons to help boost his spirits. We definitely do. Join Zach in the Patreon. <laughs> Yeah, like I said, this tournament is a very tricky one with the Alex timing. So, but you know what I'm really looking forward to? It sounds crazy. The next gen tournament and the yeah. ATP Tour Finals. They're two big ones we're going to be having yet in this year. We've got, I think, some Masters tournaments as well. We've got Paris. So yeah, there's plenty to come on Game to Love. I'm going to put all my energy into them, um, and then obviously we'll see Rafa hopefully for. What do you reckon he'll be back for? Australian Open next year? Yeah, I think he'll be aiming for that. Sam asking am I in uni? No, I've, I've done my uni. He said uh, brain brain surgery, wasn't it? <laughs> what? <laughs> what was the other? David Beckham studies. <laughs> the only way is Essex. That is a course, by the way. What, only way is Essex? David Beckham. Oh, okay. And you can do McDonald's. Um, that's a course as well. Not surprised. I'd rather do like Elon. If Elon Musk's got one, I'd rather do well, that. His I'm course. Sure, it will. I might do a course in Bitcoin. How has Vicar not won this set yet? Here we go. The notifications are coming through. Oh, finally! Oh, no, this is for the next one. Oh, that's annoying. Say so we're going to be on in half an hour. I don't think so. Oh, all right, I'm gonna have to change. Liam's saying you can do Harry Potter studies. Yeah, there's some weird courses out there in the UK. I'm not sure if it's in the US as well, but you can do a course in some very <laughs> peculiar <laughs> topics. Harry Potter. <laughs> I can't imagine getting a degree in Harry Potter. Then what would you do? And by the way, Muguruza has broken. I know we've gone off off topic. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah, yeah. No one can shock her, can stop her. Inside of a fire, Gabinia Mugaruza Mugaruza. <laughs> I just wish that the, there's part of me that wishes that we had our video still on during the button presses so everyone could see how ridiculous we are during the uh, song or oh, the button presses. It does make me laugh. Only we can see each other during <laughs> what, us singing I along. actually really like that one, I'm not going to lie. It's one of my favourites. It makes top five for sure. Oh, JG top five. Hard to get into that. If it was an IMDB rating, what would it get? 
Um, it's an eight point six. Oh, eight point six high on and the a list. Seven point eight on Rotten Tomatoes. Oh, I'm not such a no big fan of Rotten Tomatoes. Nah, Rotten Tomatoes are rotten. Yeah, I feel um, that I just trash stuff for the sake of it. Yeah, Dawn's saying there's a Madonna course in the US. Any other weird <laughs> courses? I was going to say, what, what, there must be stages to the course. Do they sort of label them by her songs or what? Well, that's the... what I'm saying. You could do a course in button making. Why don't you launch it? it makes it sound like I make like some you sort could of do clothing. a degree. <laughs> no, <button> in... my... <laughs> Maybe not button, just game to love. This is how you make a button. Let us know in the chat. If anyone thinking about going to university, would you study game to love at uni? Bend your, tw- uh, your tutor. I can help here and there. <laughs> <laughs> I, what I, can offer you. I have no expertise. I can tell you about Rafa and how good he is. Tw- That's about tw- it. Twitter king. <laughs> how are you? How you engage on Twitter? Liam saying no. Well, I'm sorry, but I don't think you'd uh, meet the criteria. Yeah, get out. You're not accepted anyway, Liam. I can imagine Liam would be like a sitter pass on the on his. Uh, this new revolving toilet. That's what. I, I don't know why. It was one of the best uh, ideas of Liam's since he's been on GTO. I think is uh, the toilet break in a, a like a portable uh, with one of those revolving doors that opens, like on the train toilets, or if you get some of them in those public toilets. Out after five minutes, if you're not done, it, the door just opens and you're revealed to the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a great one. <laughs> yeah, it works. It really does. And I'll, I'll obviously be covering the Rafael Nadal module. Um, so anyone <laughs> sign up for that module. <laughs> the first lesson is we have to well, we have to do all these superstitions superstitions on court and learn them to a team. You get examined on how precise you do it. <laughs> this is that that would actually make a great sketch. I think at one point we're gonna have to do it. We have to go. I'm gonna we have to go to like some sort of uh get like a classroom and then we'll get teacher of JG going in and just saying uh going into the class and you'll be like you'd have to speak in Spanish, obviously. You have to say like Hola, buenos dias. And then everyone about when else there is daddy oh no be like hotter hotter here and i just slam some on the desk you were like <laughs> <laughs> so uh anyway and then you could be like no i just want to uh, judge yeah like sam saying just judge everyone how they line up their water bottles ah, sure they're that's the first test see this would be a, this would be good because then you could do this. You could go around and look at each uh, person. You could look at, you go, uh, Primilo, eh, the wedgie. And, like that. and then might watch everybody pull their wedgie out and like, oh. Hmm. Segundo. Bueno. 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 Yeah, yeah. What he does uh, next. Uh, 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 the eyebrows. Don't the eyebrows. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many. It's so funny. Uh, it becomes... then you need to produce one of the four hand winners so if you can't do that <laughs> out of class yeah, that's lit- and we're going to get Rafa in the other side of the court you need to get a point against him exactly the... to get the Masters you need to beat Rafa in a match <laughs> <laughs> maybe Casper Rude to start with and then uh, Rafa after <laughs> right Muguruza Renard saying do I pick my back wedgie with my thumb and forefinger or do I use three fingers or do I three <laughs> finger it three <laughs> finger or just a well, it's, it's a good question because it's important <laughs> to use the right fingers for the wedgie indeed but we save that for another day because Muguruza trying to make a match of it there was a chance I thought this was going to be 6-1 but she's fighting back there she goes it's 5-3 she consolidates one break in it and Azarenka to serve out for this set. Could she get a little bit nervy? I hope so. No one can shock her, can stop her. Caminha, Muguruza, inside her, a fire. Caminha, Muguruza, Muguruza. Ha <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Drop shot. Oh, brilliant. What a way to start for Azarenka. Three points away now from the second set. And this one's going to three. Um, Sam said, I love the song. I do as well. It's actually yeah. really, really good. I must admit. Yeah, we got Stephanie saying, I love Muguruza's outfit. Yeah, I actually do really like it. It's a reptilian descent, let's call it. Yeah, it's one of my favourites. That might be the saddest song ever. Actually, sorry, no, not Muguruza. I prefer, um, I really like Azarenka's, if I'm honest. It's one you of my favourites, that one. What, you prefer Azarenka's to Muguruza's? Yeah. Definitely. No, well, Zach's saying it was your girlfriend around when you recorded the Muguruza song. She's actually not here for the whole of it. She's gone back home for uh, a couple of weeks, probably just because she thought, I'm not being there while he's shouting during the US Open. I can't be dealing with that. So she's gone back to uh, visit her family in Bulgaria. And uh, if you're watching, hey. <laughs> Hi. Shout out to my girlfriend. Love you. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. no. I'm not having this. He's just getting <laughs> turned into a soppy channel. Let's get him out. We can't have that. What's he doing? He's sending messages to his... Get No, get out. He's sending messages to his... Hey, I'll kick him out instead. That's better, isn't it? <laughs> so, set point for Azarenka. Oh, he's back again. What has happened? Shocking. The demise of Game to Love. And Liam's saying, I'm channeling my inner Enrique Iglesias. You're right. <laughs> That's exactly right. Reset you can point. run, you can hide, but you can't escape Game to Love. <laughs> nice backhand there and three set points. She's got to get it done this time. She should have got it done about 20 minutes ago. And Muguruz is not allowing it, Come though, on. is she? Come on, Mugo. I honestly think if she can get this to do, she breaks. Please, come on. Two more points. Two more points. This is just, it seems to be taking an age to just, you said breadstick. I swear about 20 minutes ago, you were like, I told you, breadstick. I didn't realize we could do this. It's better. Did you know oh. we can actually just have the scoreboard and talk? I think everyone can hear us, right? Do we want that? Do people want to see us? I don't know. I didn't know we could even do that until you yeah. around. Did you know that? Yeah, of course we can do that. But I thought the whole point was we were on the screen. <laughs> I, I don't know. What do you think? Is everyone liking this? <laughs> well, I can still see you, so it doesn't really improve it for me. Big forehands. Oh, winner from Muguruza again. Come on. Come on, one more point, she breaks. Liam saying, no, I like seeing your beautiful faces coming from the nicer of the two Liams, of course. Yeah, Sam saying, it looks weird like that. Yeah, and then you're just covering up the background I made as well. Then we just got the scoreboard only. Maybe we just have the scoreboard and none of us, and no voice or anything. We just... <laughs> well, just put the scoreboard the on. Stream. Just some light music in the background. <laughs> Sam saying, it looks weird like that. I'm dying. Come back. We're back. Don't worry about it. Oh, and there you go. Um, it's the second set. Azarenka. Sorry. Azarenka. She knows how to play. Azarenka. I'll sort out the uh, drums on that. I'll just uh, maybe I'll send it over to Dylan. He can do some proper actual uh, played drums. That'll be better. But uh, I, I think it deserves like some good good drumming, not just some like random drum sample. Sorry for that. Well, <laughs> Magdy saying I'm dropping out uh, your GTL Uni course. I know why I'm beating the Dow for my master. <laughs> I get that. <laughs> Imagine that you get all the way through, and it's just the final exam. Is you've just got to hit. You got to, you got to hit a winner past Rafa or something. Well, like that's that. possible. Oh, come is. on, everyone! Everyone could hit a winner past Rafa. Everyone. 
Well, if you trained for it for three years and you was re- like you could play tennis to start with. If it's not only tennis, this is there's all, there's always hit one winner past him. I fancy myself. Give me five hours on court, I'll at least hit more, I'll hit more <laughs> than one five winner. Hours. It would be hilarious to watch it in sped up speed, just with you trying to hit winners, and then it's gone like four. Do you not five... think I could hit one winner against Rafa? You would hope that we'd be able to hit one, even if you just went. I'm just going to try and tonk this as hard as possible, like a Robin Harsa, and hope it goes in. Surely one of them in five hours would go in, and he wouldn't be able to get it back in court. Has to be a clean winner, though. Can't get a racket to it. I'll say that. Yeah, and on the match, John makes a good point. Muguruza's serve went right downhill in that second set. First set, five aces. Second, zero. First set, zero double faults. Second, four. Yeah, it it was a bit of an issue. Double faults, not finding the first serve. Uh, Hopefully, she can get it back again because her actual ground strokes were very good, made it competitive. Liam thinking Azarenka now wins. I would have to agree. I'm going to stick with my main pick, Muguruza. Um, there's the stats for you if you want them. Second set. Yeah, as John was saying, it's a big drop in level for Muguruza. Compare that to the first set. Yeah, well, sorry. That's the cue, wasn't it, for me there? (laughs) (laughs) Missed that. (laughs) It's like, uh, there's like this thing, there's like the uh, the neuro, uh, the neurons in your brain, like connecting certain things, like the ears to the other part of the action in my hands. Like a cog going around, in there, just floating around. Yeah, it's, it's you can traveling, it's be- traveling between that. In this one, traveling between like a in through like a stream of like st- it's like going on like a raft across like a stellar stream. <laughs> stellar stream. It's like trying to work oh. across the Aslan river. Karatsev's going out. He lost fifteen mm. thirteen in the tie break. He likes he likes drama though. That, that's what I'll give it. I'll give him that. Does anybody fancy getting on the top tippers board? I know King of Leon sort of uh, exploded into first place in September, but there is third, fourth, and fifth still available. Yeah, I'm not seeing it blank. I just want to see some names. I might. I'm even tempted in. just to put some in. <laughs> just so I've got JG on there for a bit. Do you want to send me some? Yeah, but the thing is, I would do it, but I just don't want it to go to YouTube. Yeah, yeah. Well, so maybe I'll send it to you on PayPal. Yeah, send me maybe a PayPal. Me okay, I'll send you one. Send it back. <laughs> <laughs> we'll both go on. Which is the most popular? So maybe I'll do that as the poll next time. Which is the most popular button out of these two? Oh, oh I think sorry. the most popular button. I'm going to be honest. That's going to be Muguruza. I think a lot of people are going to go for that. I really like Ons Jabur, though. Yeah, yeah. Ons Jabur. If I'm feeling happier myself, Ons Jabur's the one. I'm actually been. I I flicked through a few of them the other day, and Berrettini one as well. I quite like. I get yeah, gives. No. It's got happy vibes and Matteo. Dan Do Evans lost the scoreboard back as well. Yeah, Dan Evans lost the first set. What's he done there? The curse of America. Is yeah, he playing an American. He's playing an Australian, but he's still in Australian, America. But he still can't do it. <laughs> it's still there. And I think it's, it's worse when he plays an American in America. Living in America. Got Andahar kicking off now against Daniel Medvedev. Andahar Ooh. serving first. Think Andahar can cause him any issues? No. Takes a set. Beat Roger Federer right in the end. I don't think he takes a set. Oh, I think Medvedev now. walks it. Muguruza is going to... I think we're going to see a better level from her. I'm going to go Muguruza 6-4 on this set. Klaichikova's on court as well. She's up against Rakamova, though. And, well, Klaichikova's a massive favourite in that one. I think it's a bit too lopsided, if I'm honest. No one giving Rakamova really any credit for yeah, what she's because I don't done. know anything about her. Well, she oh, I just want to say, we've got a new name on the top tippers. Liam Holdaway's made it. Cheers, Liam. Boop, boop, boop. One pound by yourself a Fredo. What's, <laughs> the, what's the, uh, what's the uh, conversion into USD? I'm sure it's being favourable right now. Is it? One, 1.39. Okay, storms bad. on. Well done, Liam. Appreciate that. And Liam being uh, one of our patrons as well. He's a master. 
We just need two more spots to fill. He is a master. As a, well done, Muguruza. Good start for her on the board in the third set. One love. What do you want your name on there as, Liam? Liam or no. Liam Holdaway? Liam H. Or Liam the H man. Or hold a boss or something like that. Or hold a serve. <laughs> Liam yeah. can't hold a serve. <laughs> there you go. I've got this one. There you go, and he's on. Liam, I hold my beer. <laughs> <laughs> I think he likes Holder Boss. I think Holder Boss is the one. <laughs> Holder Boss. All right, I'll change it for you. Holder Beer. That would be better. <laughs> you love a Nazarenka song too much. Holder Boss. There you go. Now nah, keep that, he says. All right, I've just changed it now. Hold a beer. Okay, we're not hold with... a boss. <laughs> keep it as hold a beer. There we go. There we go. <laughs> there we go. We've gone in between. What were you saying then? Not hold a. No, just no, Liam. <laughs> oh. Anyway, thirty love Azarenka. Oh, you got a bit of interference here. In. Do I like, still? Yeah, it's doing that annoying flicking like. It's like there's a moth flying on the mic or something. Nice. Oh, just long on the back end. Zach calling out for JG. We want JG to record a song for a button too. Let's, well, maybe we'll have to do it, mate. Maybe we'll have to get some of those. you have to send me some dulcet tones over the uh, internet <laughs> Well, I hope you airwaves. can do some magic with it because I don't know what I'm going to be I've got singing. an auto-tune, mate. Don't you worry. I can make you sound. If uh, if Katie Price can release a single in the charts, then you, if you can. You can give too. me lyrics. I'll sing it. Or yeah, I'll, I'll give you the lyrics I'll give, as well. I'll give you. Well, I'll give you if you want to think of it. I'll give you the the melody is the hard thing. It's not the lyrics. Okay. Yeah, it's just about finding what fits with the track. Do you want? No, the melody. Or... I could. I think the melody. I could just freestyle. No, nah, but you, once you create, I well, it depends which way you want to make it. I make tracks. I make the track around. first, and then I make the melody second okay. because I find it easier to make instrumentals. Maybe oh, I'll do a rap. massive winner. I think people want to rap. I'll go Rap's rap. good because you don't need to be in any key. You can do it to any anything that it don't. You don't sound out of tune. That's what I mean. So you don't have to go to a, a certain uh, certain key or a certain note. As a ringer holds one all. John Barnes rap, yes, and wow. Oh, the Liverpool FC one. I don't know if you saw that one. <laughs> Liverpool FC it. is hot as hell. United, Tottenham, Arsenal. That was how it started. <laughs> I've not seen that. I don't want it, either. mate. It's one of the most cringeworthy songs you've ever seen. The only football song I listen to is uh, "England Forever." No, it's not. It's I'm forever blowing bubbles. Oh, oh what? Actually, no, it's not really. It's a song, isn't it? That's a song. I climb so high. It's not climb, isn't it? Was it it's fly. Song? All right, I'm not a West Ham fan, you're not so coming. can't criticize me, mate. When you're in the stadium, it just sounds high. <laughs> no one knows it. Everyone just sings the high bit. What do you mean no one knows it? I you don't think, know. You know the West Ham fans know the song. Yeah, yeah, but the other people don't. All oh, right, probably not listening in. It's like the uh, the Liverpool one, the Never Walk Alone. I bet some of them don't know it. <laughs> oh, she's oh, missed the volley no. on top of the net. Come on. And she's been volleying so well as well, but she misses that one. It was a bit of a tricky one on the backhand side. Zach said, maybe set a fundraiser target. If we hit a certain donation total, JG records a song. Oh, I like Bad it. Idea. I like it. The target yeah, we'll that, is $2. No. <laughs> <laughs> Liam's got us over halfway there. No, maybe we do $200 for a JG song. Rap. The, the whole shebang. What I have, I thought, is it just a button? Are you doing a whole song? No, I'm doing a whole song. <laughs> I was gonna say 10 grand for a whole the, song. The button has to be about 
max, I'd say, 25 seconds. That's a long time. In no, but you don't have to sing for the whole time. It's in the right other on. buttons. See how long yeah. I oh, sing yeah, in a little bit, yeah. Yeah, it's just a little taster. So let's have a look at Poprin, a breakup and Just one lover. Michael saying, how's our favourite Russian player doing? Um, he come back from two sets to love last night. Yeah, he was amazing. Aslan Karatsev, he's Dude, out of the doubles though, it seems. Down yeah. a break in the second set Five after one. losing the first. Um, the so Aslan's heading home in the doubles. And the Muguruza Brit. goes into the net. Two break points for Azarenka. Big opportunity for her. And a lot of people called it in the chat saying Azarenka's going to come to life in this set and win. I said Azarenka. You said in... you want Azarenka. I said Azarenka in three. Let's get that on record. And there was somebody in the live chat uh, last night asking my prediction for Pliskova and Nisimova. I said Pliskova in three. Guess what happened? Pliskova in three. So good to have some right predictions coming out of this and you never believe Moist what box. I predicted yesterday. I had Djokovic, free love. And it was. <laughs> what? Djokovic, no. free love. Wow, shock. Another break point. Give us your prediction for Medvedev versus... Uh, <laughs> who's he playing? I will after I this can't... point. She steps in, saves it. Come on, juice. Saves both of them. And uh -huh. I do really like Mugodosa. Uh, Medvedev demolishes him. He's already up a break. He's only played one game. Van der Zanschluck, Bagnus. That's a, a harder match to call. Or Molkan versus Schwartzman. Both. I think Molkan's going to be. Van der Zanschluck and Schwartzman. Easy. I think Molkan's going to go through. That's a weird one. And it's mm. just part of me that just thinks he's just doing a Karatsev for some Malkan. reason. He's had a good year. Seven People are seven. not giving him the respect he deserves. She struggled with the ball toss. It's a long old match, this one, isn't it? Great return there from Azarenka. Not, oh, it's into the net there, though. Come on. Strong. Advantage. Might have to order food again. Is that bad? Well, yeah, I can't do that. I'm not, doing, I'm not sure I'm what's not... going to happen with the next stream. Well, this is what I mean. Like, I don't know what... Uh, I've got, I've got stuff in the defrosted that I was going to eat, and then I just don't know when I'm going to cook it. That's you might have thing. to head off before this one, man, and do it because I can't do the next one. I don't know. I wait until the end. Or I don't know. There order you go, Muguruza holds. Come on, order something's good. It's Friday. I'm going to probably order something. I know, but I defrosted stuff for. Uh, I know. So it just, I don't know. If you defrost something, can it last? longer or is it just you have to eat as soon as it's defrosted yeah, I don't mess you? once you defrost it you have to eat it's yeah. chicken as well yeah, so. yeah don't don't freeze it again yeah, uh, yeah. No, 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 I don't mean... sorry what are we saying i was gonna say i don't mean freeze it again i mean would you be able to leave it for a day um, tomorrow i don't yeah, know you can you can but it's not advisable liam saying 24 hours in the fridge <laughs> is fine I, it is in the fridge. I didn't put it out. I took it from the freezer. Oh, in that case, in the fridge. yeah, I think, yeah, it's fine. You can leave it. So it's surely it'll be, it I'll go and check it, see if it's still a bit No, frozen. no, it'll be fine. I've did that at uni loads of times. It'll be fine for tomorrow. Push it to um, the back. <laughs> it's stuck to the back. Prediction, Casadkina versus Fitalina. I think Fitalina beats her. Yeah. In and they'll, she'll be playing three. Hallop. In three. I wish I pushed Hallop further. I didn't realise how good she was going to be. Yeah, same. I didn't push her even through a round. That was terrible, wasn't it? Well, Daniel Medvedev up to love. He started his one pretty handily. Dan Evans, after being a breakup in the first set, lost the first set, and uh, he's on serve in the second. He's got it all to do, though. Krajikova on serve against Rakimova. That could be a potential banana skin for Krajikova, I think, but hoping she can come through that because I've got her going quite far in this tournament. Yeah, just want to say a big thank you to everyone who's joined us. 67 likes now. If you haven't already, Ooh. hit the like button on the video and subscribe if you're new. Between two big heavyweights and it's going the distance. We're in three sets. Nothing separating them at the moment. And they've both been very good. I can't really work out who's played better. I'd say it's even. Yeah, I'd say they've had spells and that's it. That's all you can say. Not like Harry Potter oh! spells, but spells in the match where they were better. 
Uh, I think Azarenka started well, then Muguruza took over, then Muguruza took the whole of that first set, then Azarenka just stormed the second and then fell away at the end of the second set, just squeezed it in the end. And now it's quite even. Oh, no. It's not a good sign. We're only at 7 o'clock, mate. Yeah, well, I've not been sleeping loads. Oh, no. On your mind. And it's Friday as well. It's long, mm -hmm. mate. It's a long, long week. I've got the annoying thing. Even if I was to go to bed late, like last night, the the sun is on the window every morning, and the it just the, the whole room is so is bright. Blinds? No, there's not light. It's just a curtain, but it's supposed to be a blackout curtain. Yeah, that's no, you need rubbish. The, I like the proper, I like the. Yeah. I've got little it shutters. To, like yeah, it needs to be shutters. Thick. They're quite nice. Yeah, yeah unfortunately, the only thing happen. is with them. It could be like, say, three in the afternoon. <laughs> yeah, you're still that. asleep. Yeah, I know what you mean. Uh, in a way, I like it because it does wake you up. But if you go into the other room, into the lounge, <laughs> nothing. There's it's dark, and now well, that's and the then... problem. If you get come out and you're in a real dark room, and you go into like a bright room after, you just like so it just blows your mind. Well, whoa, whoa. and then it swaps around because the sun goes round. This is in darkness, this side of the flat, at uh, this that point of the day. And then in that side, it's so super sunny. So it's like the other way around. Well, sleeping Liam, in the sleeps other. with the light on. It's got, it's, got <laughs> the, uh, it's got the boogeyman under the bed. It's worried that Ted uh, Bundy is going to come again. Come on, Muguruza's coming now. We had someone predict that if Muguruza was to hold the last one, she's going to break straight away. So well done to you. Forget who it was now. But it could be happening. You've got John asking, is a break coming? Got a feeling in my bones. John's got the feeling. I've semi got the feeling as well. Oh, it's into the net. Two break points. All our feelings are right. Seems like it. Seems like it. It's just that. It's just swapping from side to side. And oh, what's she doing? She's doing some sort of like a uh, aerobics routine at the back of the court there, Azarenka. It's like hopscotch, wasn't it? It's doing like a little split step, little hop. Yeah, it's highly advised, that. What, oh, hopscotch? Is it, yeah, it's good to get the body moving up in between points sometimes. Oh, great it's serve. Good. Sorry. It worked perfectly. Yeah, it did. Go, she's doing it again, trying to pump herself <laughs> up. Saves one break point. Come on, a, She's doing it. What's she doing? I like it. Whatever she's doing, just keep doing it. These uh, hopscotch. Come on, Muggo. Nice serve. Oh, great inside that oh. forehand. She's got her on the stretch. Muguruza's getting there, though. Hit into the sun. That's my opinion. And it's worked. Oh, no. Well played. That was really good from Azarenka. Quality tennis when it matters. Saves both of them, and it's at juice now. Good match, this one. That's a, well, it was always going to be a top match, this. I don't think it was ever going to disappoint no, there was no chance. I want to go back to Liam's light on. Is it a night light? Or is it like one of these plug-in ones? Or is it just the actual light on? I think it's the main light. The main light? What? So like a the whole big... It must have a lot a, of money. The electricity bill must be high. I hope it's an energy-saving bulb. There you go. Vicar. More tea? Yes, please. The Vicar Boogie saying <laughs> uh, that's uh, the little dance and she's doing it again. Look at this. Dancing around on the baseline. Zach saying, Liam, brah. Save your energy. Yeah, the, the ice caps are melting, Liam. It's your fault. There it is, the hold, massive hold for Azarenka. Great to see. Victoria. Azarenka, she knows how to play. Azarenka, she's gonna make it her day. She's going to make it her day. Is she going to, though? It is two games all in this third and final set. 
A lot of people sad. Alex having a bit of a cry there after the Azarenka button. I oh, don't blame me. Let it all out. Let it all out. Forehand for forehand they go, and Azarenka overcooks her one. Zach saying, I fall asleep with the lights on 25% of the time these days. Oh, Zach, come on. Got to remember, every time we leave the room, turn the light off and try not to fall asleep with the TV on, with the lights on. I know it's too easily done, though, these days. Bad habits. That's uh, Ed Sheeran's new song, isn't it? Well, good serve in there from Muguruza. It's 30 love. We got Xavi in Villarosa, or Villarazzo, sorry, for the incorrect pronunciation. Thinking Muguruza will win. <laughs> Zach been liking the song. Alcaraz will beat Sitipas, San Calvin. Well, that's coming up next. Make sure you join us for that. What a winner there from Muguruza. She really, I don't know, she just didn't accept defeat in that one. It was flying at her and she just refused to budge. She just hit it from where she stood. It was more of a half volley, but she got the right angle. It wasn't a right angle, but she got the right angle and managed to play it into the open court. Nice serve. Oh, into the net, though, with the uh, second ball. It's going to be disappointed with that one. I never understood these. Uh, like they have some of these like women's dresses and, or I don't know what you call them. Yeah, I guess it's a dress. But like the dress bit is just pretty pointless. You may as well just wear shorts and a top. I don't really understand to have the dress bit where... Because she's wearing shorts underneath anyway. Great serve from Muguruza. There you go. She does it. And it is three games to two. Fantastic serve in there and uh, confident. No one can shock her, can stop her. Gavinia Muguruza inside her, her fire. Indeed, Mugalutha. She is in the lead in this third and final set. Uh, going over to the other one, Krajikova has just broken uh, in the business end against Rakimova. She's now 5-4 up. Come on, the Krajikova. Barbara, Barbara, Krajikova. Medvedev doing all right, isn't he? Ah, he's struggling through against Andahar, barely just getting a game. He's only managed four so far out of the first four games. Well, the question I've got for you, will he finish that match quicker than Zverev beat? Um... I thought you were gonna. Uh, I thought you were gonna say, will he finish that match in the same time uh, it takes Ramos. this match? In the same time it takes this match to finish. No, Ramos, Ramos, Zverev. You can't, why didn't you help me with a word? I know I couldn't think of it was Ramos I Zverev. Gonna, I wasn't gonna look it up either. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What do you think? I reckon. I don't think he does. I think Zverev nah. will just won that one too quick. But saying that, well, I'm it's love sure. thirty. I think it could be quicker. Uh, well, Make I think that, which one you can't say both. I think, Med, it's been I think 16 Medvedev minutes so far. I think that it could be over before this match. <laughs> what the hell? Do you think? No. Do you not think? No. Three sets. No. Well, how quick has this match been so far? So that one's been 16 minutes. This one so far, we're in two hours. This set, oh, I suppose this set's been 25 minutes. Yeah. Okay, so if this was to go to a tie break, let's say, we could have another, yeah. potentially, we could have another 50 minutes, maybe. Oh, here comes in. Muguruza. I, think she's, I don't think we're going to be going to a tie break. Love 30 now. Muguruza. Yeah. Pulling the trigger a little bit. Medvedev with three point? break points. <laughs> yeah, I didn't see it, no. Seeing the scores. I need to keep it all on the side. Having two screens sometimes can hinder you. 
Oh, Rebecca saying, my God, got got late here. Got here late, I think you mean. But anyway, yeah, better late than never anyway. We're yeah, halfway through the us, third, third and final we'll set. Was, some good tennis. was great to have you in the streams yesterday. Great to see you coming back. Good to see some new GTL people in the GTL family. Uh, if you haven't joined the Discord yet, jump in the Discord as well. Poor return there from Muguruza, 1530. His next point's oh, in really important for her. Smashed down there. Dylan saying, uh, oh, my God, Osaka Fernandez could be an interesting match. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. That's one we're going to be covering later on. I think it's at midnight in the UK. Are we definitely covering that one? Yeah, yeah. Well, what other matches are How can I sit to pass? Yeah, no, it's after this. It's all on the same court. That's what I mean. That's why it's the easiest ones to do because they're all on the same court. Yeah, but it's a lot because I can't do the next one. Well, then you'll just have to join back for Osaka then, won't you? Not you, boy. <laughs> Don't call me that. <laughs> Is there a gap in between City Pass and Osaka? Yeah. Osaka can only start at midnight. Okay, got you. But City Pass hasn't started yet. But if you're not joining for that anyway, you'll have the whole gap between this one and this one. Oh, ends and then... What a volley that is from Azarenka. Oh! oh, that's really good. That's really ba -na 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 -ba -na. good. She was love 30 down. She's fighting so hard. This match, you can't call it. It's a lot of ebbs and flows. It's very mm. even as well. I don't know I if like you've got it. the total points won, but I reckon it's going to be close. I've not heard ebbs and flows for before on the podcast, but I like it. Let's keep that one. Use that a bit more often. Uh, points one, 80 to Muguruza, 77 to oh, Azarenka. Very close. And come on. Yeah, one's into their net, though. Muguruza, very fortunate. Juice. I don't think I'm going to make new buttons, unfortunately, for Sitter Pass and Alcaraz. They deserve them, but they're not getting them because have they so both got more. buttons. What's they Alcaraz have. One like? Good. It's terrible. Yeah, it was terrible. It just did it just for his birthday. Just Do we quickly. have him? Is there singing on it or not? Nah, there's nothing. It's just like a him and a track. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit of a, a bit of a shame, but there's not going to be enough time. If he gets through, then he'll, he might get one. Yeah, you got to earn your buttons, mate. On GTL, you can't just get buttons. Oh, oh, it's a double man. fault. It's a double fault. Azarenka kicks the ball and she's going to be facing yet another break point. She saved quite a few break points already this match. Ooh. Break points, one. Zero out of zero in this set for both of them. They both had two breaks, both not been able to take them. Can Muguruza take this one? Oh, it's a dodgy return. Oh, she can. Azarenka's gone drop with a drop shot. Yeah, she's oh, not getting there. Ah, well played, Azarenka. Yeah. Saves back another in the open one. Court. Juice again. This game's so important. If Muguruza takes it, 4-2, she sort this of opens the gap a little bit. Absolutely massive. And the winner of these two will be facing, do we know? Oh, so yeah, I always know, but then I always put it away again. The winner of these two will be playing. I've got to go to the bottom of the draw again. It's Klaichikova, Rakamova. Yeah, well, potentially. Well, oh, great it's... volley, Azarenka again. Come on! I, know, I feel bad every time I cheer against Mugalutsu. It's a bit of a weird feeling. Cheering on Azarenka. Uh, Dylan saying, I think Azarenka's better. Mugalutsu is more well, inconsistent. I don't know if I agree oh. with that. I, I think I would agree in this US Open, though. Really? I think, well, well, for you, in this US Open. No, but in general, in the US Open. Oh, yeah, in general, just, for sure. Yeah, that's what I mean. In this event. Yeah, so oh, Medvedev, bagel for him, and uh, Andahar, terrible. It definitely feels like on the men's side, there's three, and then there's a definitely gap, feels... and then you've got Sitsa pass, then there's a gap, and then there's everyone else. Definitely feels like on the men's side, it's just loads of weird upsets. It's just the opposite way round to the women's that normally is. Women's, all the seeds are going through. Yeah. And on the men's side, 
We've had Sefi. And still that solid three, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, there's still the solid, solid four. It includes Sissipas, the top yeah, four yeah. seeds. No one's really close to him. I wouldn't even put Zver- uh, Rublev up there with him. Will you be able to include him after tonight? If he wins. Because we'll have Carlos Alcalaz Garfield. Oh, I thought you were talking about Rublev. Oh, Rublev. That's another person. Don't forget about no, him. I discount him out of that debate. Medvedev might hit his hand on a camera again. It's into the net. Oh, sour, but that's the only reason he beat him. How dare you? It no, Medvedev, him. yeah, he beat himself. He allowed it to get to him. You could have just run past him and gone, oh, I oh, just ran into it and continued, and he probably would have beaten Rublev. No, he went, no, I'm going to kick the camera over. I'm going to kick it, argue. I'm not playing anymore. No, my hand's broken. Yeah, but it doesn't take a lot sometimes to get under his skin. Well, yeah, exactly. So he should learn to control it. People say Murray should learn to control his. Medvedev needs to do the same. God, he gets it's a to long easily... old game. Yeah, it is. Nice backhand from Mugulut, so I like it. It's long from Azarenko. It's juice again. And she's locked her in. Medvedev and Pandahar. Nearly finished the second set already. (laughs) Poprin's destroying Evans right now. He's having a great tournament, Poprin. Yeah. You know he's good, but he's not been in great form, that's all. Great server. If when he's serving well, he's tough. It's tough to beat. Saying include Berrettini, I'm not sure if I would include Berrettini. I think he's. I think he could be a. I, I think feel like he's lower, him out too he's lower than Sister Pass for me at the US Open. Obviously, a win would a different story altogether. I'm not so sure. I like when I watched his match, he looked really good. He's really oh, playing point. well. Yeah, poor As Volley Rick comes that. into the net and hits the middle of the net. Got it all wrong there, didn't she? Yeah. Break point number two now. Can't keep giving these opportunities away. Mugulus is going to take one of them. Super Struggles with the ball. Rublev deserved well. that win over Medvedev. I agree as well. I think he did. It was hard fought. Nice return from Mugulutsa. Go backhand to backhand. Oh, and she's gone wild and she's got broken. This guy. No one can shock her, can stop her. Inside a fire, Mugarusa. Just like that, Garbinia Mugarutha is 4-2 up in this third and final set. Guys, if you're just joining us, please hit the like button on the video. Subscribe if you're new, because we're going to be bringing you Carlos Alcaraz Garcia. He's up against Stefano City of Pass. Is there going to be more toilet breaks to talk about in the next match? Find out on GTL. What a winner that is down the line. We've crossed the two-hour mark, and Muguruza playing very, very well now. Yeah, and this is what is can it, happen. This is how I saw this match going, if I'm honest. I fought three sets and I fought Muguruza, so... It's not over yet. So what happened that last well, game. He's serving like that. Wow, great winner from Muguruza. I love it when she's playing like this, though. When she plays with confidence, hitting the ball clean, it's yeah. just a, a, well, it's a joy. In this set, eight winners compared to Azarenka's four. So doubled up on the winner count. Brilliant. And serving very well as well. She's found her first serve again, it seems. Where it was missing in the second, as John was saying, all them double faults. And look at that. Now it's aces. Just like that. What a difference. 40 love. And we're getting close towards the end of this set and the match. It's her seventh ace of the match. I've got a feeling that uh, Anderhaar's feeling a little bit like Ramos yesterday. The Spanish, Spanish, <laughs> the yeah. Spanish effect. And, What's the score? Uh, he's 30 all in the 40 30. He might get his first game soon. There you go. Mugaluza consolidates. And it's a game to love as well. the 
the bar from quick. We've got Liam saying, team coming back to the top would make me so happy. Yeah, me too. He's one of my favourite players. I'd love to see team come back. Um, it's a big ass though. He's struggling at the moment. He's not that young compared to some of the other people on tour. I think we're going to see him back challenging for Grand Slams again for sure for a few more years. Yeah, just hoping he can recover from his injury because it looks like quite a bad injury he's had. Obviously, he's the champion of the US Open last time round. So he's a good player. Um, Andy saying Muguruza carry in Spain's women, uh, Spain's women tennis. Uh, her whole career, what a hero she is! Well, there's some new Spanish talent on that tour. You've got Saribas Tormo playing great, you've got Badoza, um, there's a few others as well, but they're the first two which sort of spring to mind. Um, so hopefully, we see some more Spanish players on the women's side, but Muguruza been the standout for sure and um, doing very well. It's just for me, this US Open tournament's not been her best one. If people just join in, she's got a 47 win percent record here compared to the other slams, what are all way above 70, uh, with, with Roland Garros, 78%. So she doesn't do well. She's lost more than, issues, than she's won at the US Open. But hopefully that fortune's all going to be turned around this year because she seems to be going for a few rounds. And if she is to win here today, let me just check, would that then be her furthest at the US Open? I think it'll be joint furthest with 2017. So well done to her. Back on the way though. And Azarenka now serving to keep her US Open hopes alive. Obviously the finalist here a few years back. Oh, I say a few years. Sorry, last year she was the finalist against Naomi Osaka. One of the first watch alongs we did on the podcast. 707 saying, thought you'll be covering Medvedev match. Nice change. Yeah, we, we do a bit of everything. I think this one just looks a little bit more competitive than the Medvedev one, for sure. We've done a lot of matches where I haven't been that competitive. So good to see a change here. Azarenka serving. Let's see what she can do. She misses the first serve. Getting competitive Second in the Medvedev match. He's at advantage on his own serve now, under her. Can Azarenka find a way back into this match? Great forehand. Now backhand. Big winner, Azarenka. Yeah, really That's good. better. I think she does hold and makes uh, Mugadusa serve it out. I'll we'll have to go to the shop after this. I think we've uh, run out of the beers. <laughs> you don't buy enough, I don't think, when you go. No, because I'm normally carrying them back by a backpack. Why don't uh, you do uh, a food delivery from Tesco? So it's like twenty pounds. You yeah. get a crate and a few other little bits of food. Should do that, really. But I, I like to go out for a I like, yeah, but I like to go out for a walk. Though. That's the thing. I don't want to just be. Yeah. I haven't left the flat in two days. Yeah, That's I sad. I feel horrible. I feel like enclosed in a cage. Yeah. I need to uh, get out and actually get some fresh air. It's horrible. Yeah, sometimes it's an excuse, isn't it, just to get out? Oh, yeah, I like it. I just go, like to go for a walk, put the backpack on and just fill it up when I go to the supermarket or something. Oh, misses the first serve. I don't know what's happening to her. She doesn't look that confident to me. I think she kind of is accepting her uh, races run. Double yeah. fault. How dare you races run? Not in her career, and it's just a match. Oh, okay. So sixth double fault. That's a lot of double yeah, faults. Too many. We've got Liz Lizbeth saying, "Go Mugalutha, you got this." Well, could we be seeing some match points here? That no, shadow's annoying. Nice. Where did that shadow come from? It just like suddenly stormed the court. It was clear like twenty minutes ago, and now it's nearly fully covered. What an annoying shadow! Two points away. Oh, what another ace. Back-to-back -back aces for Azarenka. She relieves herself from some of that pressure. Just needs one more. It's the toughest John. one to get this one. Money bags. Uh, uh, get mine delivered. Got to order a minimum of 120 euros of stuff. It's easy with a couple of crates of beer plus some wine. I bet most of it's wine and beer. Oh, into the net. And she, she keeps toying with everyone. She's playing well, Azarenka, when she's down. But then when she's got the lead, seems to just make the error every time. 
and she just allowed Muguruza to get back into this one. Could we be seeing a, a match point? Wow. Well, getting that feeling. Like, looks like Anderhar's on the comeback. He's won a game. Great serve there from Vicar. It's long. Yeah. And it is match point. Match point. Crowd going crazy right now. Yeah. Loving this match. They love a bit of Garbina Muguruza. Yeah, it's a great atmosphere there. Azarenka to serve, facing match point. And she oh. misses the first serve. She went very big on it. Yeah. It's been a good match, this one. But it's looking like it could be over. Well, we'll have to wait and see. Does she find the first serve? She uh, does. It's she a does double a fall. Double faults on match point. And just like that, two hours, 15 minutes played. Muguruza wins. 6-4, 3-6, 6-2. Uh, what a performance from her. She actually t she didn't play great in that second set. There was a lot of double faults, but fought back hard. And I'm glad she won. I think she was the deserving victor in the end. No one can shock her, can stop her. Garminia, Muguruza, inside her, a fire. Garminia, Muguruza. Yes. Vamos. Vamos indeed. Garbina Muguruza. She does take the victory. She knocks out last year's finalist, Victoria Azarenka. Convincing in the end, really. If you look at the score and 6 2 in the final set, she just got, she got running and she didn't want to stop, did she? Yeah found the rhythm. It was just the second set. The serving went off and her whole performance did. But when she sorted that out, she was the better player. I'm glad she yeah. won. Does my bracket the world of good. Yeah, um, mine the terrible. So, yeah, very happy with that. Uh, I think we're going to wrap it up, get ready yeah. for the next one. I know you're going to be doing Sissa Pass Alcaraz. Hopefully, yeah. I, can, I don't think I can join for it, but I'll be here later on tonight. No um, worries. I've got to run to the shop anyway, so uh, I'm out of beers. I've just got to get down there. Got to try and work out what I'm going to eat in the next 15 minutes before uh, <laughs> the next match starts. Just quickly, the Flying Italian keeps asking, sorry, I forgot to answer, what other sports do you watch? We watch different sports. I like my football. Ben likes his UFC, boxing, yep. fighting, that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, tennis is our main sport. Yeah. And talking of the tennis, the US Open has been pretty good. There's been some good matches, some shocks. The qualifiers are doing great. But on the women's, all the seeds keep going through. And Muguruza now, uh, 10 in the world, is doing well. So yeah, let's see what's is. in store for our next match. We'll see you very soon for Arkaraz City Pass. If you haven't already, like this video, subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you very, very soon. See you in a minute, guys.